needs to come out and say, hey, no, that's no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, he needs to come out and say, he don't no, need to. No, I'm not. I'm living a lie. He don't need I'm to. I'm living a lie this whole how time. How you living a lie? What do you mean how he's living a lie? Because when he says he's in a relationship with someone, he doesn't mention that he's in a relationship with a guy. No. Sports Podcast. Welcome to the Mark West Sports Podcast. I'm Marcus Benjamin. He's Wesley Pierre. Mm -hmm. And we give you that sports talk from that Dade County perspective. Already. We give you that real and we just talk about, you know, uh, sports that's been uh, trending in, in the past week. And of course, the NBA playoffs has been trending. And to be honest, after the Heat, <laughs> got eliminated, bro. Like I, I have, I've been kind of, you know, disconnected. I guess you could say, okay, from the playoffs because I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever, you know. But playoffs has actually been pretty exciting, exactly. Uh, especially in in this round that we're in right now. Um, you know, you got a lot of surprise teams in, in the playoffs. I don't think anybody expected Phoenix, Atlanta, uh, Milwaukee, and the Clippers to be the final four teams. Um, but it's it's been it's been interesting to say the least. I do want to say that Paul George, bro, his ass missing the two free throws. Yeah, you know, just in in that critical moment where they lost game two, uh, the Clippers yeah. did, where he could have hit two free throws and essentially iced the game. And Phoenix comes through with that crazy alley oop play at the end. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. But um, but Chris Paul actually came back, game three, and he shot terribly. Him and Booker. Yeah, they 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 just shot terribly in the game. They were like ten so, for forty. Something like Between that. Between both it, of it, them, it was crazy. <laughs> it was it was crazy. But I still expect Phoenix to win that series. Of course. You know, but uh, what, what what's your overall take on on the NBA playoffs? Feeling the same way like you, you know, kind of feeling a little detached from the playoffs because the Miami Heat was eliminated in a crazy fashion. But it's all good, you know. Um, my wife doesn't mind it, you know, because <laughs> we get to you know really do our normal yes our normal lives um watching movies and stuff like that you know how it is guys when 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 you're watching sports and and, and you watch not just your team but other teams your wife hate it so um <laughs> yeah you know i'm kind of feeling that the playoffs is decent you know because finally even though the heat is out finally lebron's out finally kd and these big names are out the only big name i think right now that's still in the playoffs is um Giannis and CP3 yeah. and and you know Trey uh, Young I yeah, guess you could say yeah, yeah Trey Young but he's up and coming you know he's up and coming he's only been in the league a few years so I, I wouldn't put him on the same stage as a LeBron James you know um I wouldn't even put Anthony Davis in the same stage as a LeBron James even though he's a great player but again these are the players that we have left and you know the game's been decent you don't know yeah. who's gonna actually win right. you know um like what you was alluding to, you know, um, the Phoenix Suns, they won the first two games without CP, with CP3 and doing their thing. Of course, the curse, curse of CP3 done, done um, came alive. out again. He's it's still alive, alive well. to this day. I don't know what it is about CP3. You know, when he was supposed to be going to the Lakers, the, the league um, actually stopped that from happening, even though it was agreed upon with both teams. You know, you finally – make it to this point without these big names and you get COVID. You know, that kind of messed up the, the chemistry between the team. Um, you had Payne that was on his run. Booker, he was shooting lights out. People are, you know, calling him the next Kobe. You had um, um, Allen, the center, you know, he, he he's doing his thing. He's kind of like the the Tyler Hero right now of these playoffs, you know, because Tyler Hero, again, you know, we're going to talk about the Heat every time, at least me, you know, I'm going to try to find a way to go ahead and put the Heat in some type of talk. But right. yeah, he's the Tyler Hero of the playoffs right now doing his thing. And like Who you is? said, um, Aiden, the, 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 oh, DeAndre um, Aiden. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the center for the Phoenix Suns, you know, and, and great 
dunk in the end over um Zubat, you know, like with like point eight seconds left in the game, you know, it had to be one of those. And I can't believe that that um the Clippers allowed that to actually happen. And I don't understand how Paul George lost. I'm not lost, but missed bricked both of these free throws that would have iced the game like you said so um it it, it is a, a a decent playoff you don't have Kawhi Leonard in the game to save you um but but again um it shows that right now is really team basketball and the last game with the Clippers they had real team basketball so it's t- 2-1 right now they was able to take the the game but I really feel like if Chris Paul and um Devin Booker would have shot better than 10 for 40 um, they would have won that game. So me, I personally still do feel that Chris Paul will win the game. Um, and um, as far as what the East, with Milwaukee and Atlanta, you got Trey Young. I love Trey Young. I love the plain, um, the plain fact that he basically does what we would normally do on the court, on the basketball court, like in the hood. You yeah, know, yeah. you're talking shit. You're 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 doing the shimmy before you shoot the three. You yeah. know, Holiday, I, I couldn't believe that he just left them there. You know, he went under the pick and roll, and he had like two, three seconds. I guess he thought that the other defender would have went and tried to guard him. It was too late. He had like two, three seconds to actually shoot, did the little shimmy, and, and, and he, he was ice cold that game. So, um, it is what it is. Um, the last game, which was yesterday, <laughs> me and Chris was actually talking about that before you actually came, but it was like a 30 and some change lead with Milwaukee against Atlanta. Yeah, I changed the blowout. channel. I was like, yo, it was like, it looked like Miami with the actual, uh, um, um, Milwaukee Bucks again, series again, where, where it was lights out for Milwaukee and they was doing everything. They couldn't miss no free throws. They couldn't miss anything. You know, they was doing everything that they needed to do to win the, the championship or at least go to the, to the finals. So, um, for me, great playoffs and, um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, you alluded to Trey Young. I, I feel like Trey Young is um, – these playoffs are really showing that he's a bona fide superstar, I think, and that the fact that he is playing at this high level in the playoffs really says a lot about him. And, you know, and you know, we, we've already both alluded to that we would take Trey Young over Luka Doncic. Yeah. Uh, right now because, I mean, Luka Doncic is, is out there fishing – and Trey Young is is three wins away from getting to the NBA Finals. Exactly. And he has really kind of stepped up in these playoffs. He he's making ATL feel feel good about themselves. I know, you know, all those rappers in ATL are happy. You know, yep. like Ti and Gucci Mane and Gucci and Quavo, Jeezy and all Jeezy. these guys are, mm-hmm. are happy that ATL is finally being represented because I think this is their second Eastern Conference Finals ever in their franchise. And they have never made it to the NBA Finals ever. So oh, damn. this would be huge for Atlanta if they move on. I hope they do because that Milwaukee Bucks team to me is is not tough enough for me. I mean, yeah, you added some toughness with P.J. Tucker and, you know, Drew Holiday to, to some respect. He, I mean, I feel like he, he was tougher than George Hill, who they had last oh, year. Oh, yeah, of course. But – I don't believe in them. You know, I don't believe in it. I still don't believe in the Milwaukee Bucks, even though even if they find a way to move on to the NBA Finals, I don't think they're going to win. I don't, I don't think they beat any of those two teams uh, from the West, who I'm assuming is going to be Phoenix, you know, once they get the act together. And after this uh, game here, I feel like it's going to be Phoenix uh, and the Bucks, And I think the Phoenix is, is going to win the NBA championship. And Chris Paul finally – will get his ring finally yeah I, I i really i really want that to happen i don't know what i want to happen right now to be honest with you you know because again everything with me is geared towards the heat so you know me i'm thinking cynical okay miami lost last year in a bubble against lebron james so we lost against the champs this year if milwaukee win you know, we again lost to the champs. It won't really rub me the wrong way. It'll just be like, okay, what did you expect? They won the championship, you know? So that would be another argument so I could talk shit to my other friends and whoever else comments on our uh, sports podcast. But I really I really um, feel like Chris Paul do deserve a, a ring, you know? Um, again, they're, they're calling um, Booker the next Kobe. 
you know, and of course we know that um Devin Booker, he looked up to Kobe, he trained with Kobe, Kobe gave him advice, you know, so so I could kind of see the similarities in the game. I wouldn't wouldn't put him in the Kobe um, you know, stage or compare him right now, but you know, people in the media tend to want to go ahead and compare him to Kobe. I think that he's just uh not a great player, really good player right now because, you know, watching the series, you know, there's a lot of things that he did that I know Kobe wouldn't have done. You know, he was forcing a lot of things, you know, forcing a lot of shots. He was missing, you know, certain shots. Now, again, he's a great player, but I wouldn't put him in the same breath as the great Kobe Bryant, you know, uh, rest in peace. Um, but, but again, um, you got, like you said before, Luka Doncic. He's not in the in the in the series no more. You got LeBron James. He's not in the series. Kawhi. We all all these big names that's not in the series. So it kind of it kind of makes it more of a interesting playoff for me. Yeah. Again, you know, some people are gonna have an asterisk behind the um, playoffs because um, all these great names are not in the actual playoffs. But again, you know, you gotta understand. Ultimately, it comes down to p- being available. You know, Marcus, he love availability is the best ability. KD um, was um, had to do it by himself, you know, um, and, and he, he didn't have Kyrie. He didn't yeah. have Harden, and we had Harden. He had Harden as a shell of himself, wasn't able to run, wasn't able to do the fast break, wasn't able to really do his step back three that we're accustomed to seeing. You know, you got Kawhi Leonard that's – I'll, I'm not sure if he's going to come back in the playoffs, you know. Even even with Kawhi, you got certain people, you know, talking trash about Kawhi because he was in the stands with his family, you know, enjoying the playoffs because ultimately he's not – me personally, I, I, I enjoyed that. You know, he, he you rooting for your team and you're in the playoffs because you're injured. Um, Hopefully it's not an ACL tear because we definitely want him in Miami. But, again, I think he's out of at least this series. If he come back – you know what? What a story would it be if Kawhi come back in in the finals if they were actually to make their yeah. their appearance in the finals and wind up you know being the key reason why they're actually winning. Yeah, that would be a, a crazy story. But like you said, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen because <laughs> if, if that does happen, then like he's gonna stay in L.A. Exactly. Um, but the talk about him coming to Miami is real talk. You know, it's it's like a real thing. I've heard a couple of reports already that. You know, he is seriously thinking about coming uh, to Miami and be a part of Miami Heat. Um, but, you know, for these playoffs, though, I'm rolling with Chico, man. Young Chico to bars, bro. <laughs> young Chico to bars, that's what I'm rolling with, bro. <laughs> you know, going with Young Chico. That, you know how we always establish nicknames on this show, man. You know, so he's going to be Young Chico, bro. You that's what's He's Young Chico to bars, you know, especially it's perfect because his last name is Young, you know. But the bars had better hair, though. <laughs> yeah, he definitely had better hair. And I'm mad at, at Trey Young for you to be as young as you are i think he's like what 22 or something mm-hmm. like that and, and you already got like a a, a ball spot coming and you know it, it's it, it's there people see it bro it's like you on you have to make a decision you, you're gonna have to make a business decision at some point you know you're gonna be like oh i'm just gonna cut this thing off or you know rock the low boy or, or do something you know yeah kd because, in the same same breath kd lebron y'all need to like come on it's right in front of you like come on yeah yeah <laughs> yeah speaking of kd man kd is back in the news again you know i mean the dude kd man i, I respect you kd obviously you're a great player but kd bro like you don't have to clap back at everybody you know like for for me like like it, it seems like you at this point are just cr- are trying to create news for yourself. That that's how I feel at this point. I know that's not really the truth. I know the the truth is is that you uh feel like there's a need for you to say something in response to someone who says something about you, which. It's fine, I guess, you know, in the grand scheme of things. But at the same time, like, yo, can you imagine if LeBron, like, clapped back at everybody that says something bad about him? Like, how many times he would have to clap back? I feel like him him in itself, like, LeBron, like, you deserve props for not clapping back as much as you could have. You could have you definitely went on Twitter and clapped back to every – 
But he did every though. critic. He, not like him. not every he, critic, but like, like come KD. on. Remember when he lost that first chip in Miami? He was on that stage. I'm still gonna be rich, and you still gonna be poor and go to that, your regular job. So KD had stage. burner accounts and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. KD, KD, had KD burner did accounts. have burner it's accounts. It's definitely not on the level as KD. KD responds to any and everybody that comes after him in his way. Can you explain and that Scotty Pippen just, thing? It's just overkill for me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But 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 you gotta understand. Some people they just have you know like the the less patience for people that they feel like they they they're lying on them. You know, and if if, if I feel like somebody's lying on me, you know, and that person is is credible, it's not a typical fan. You know, it's it's real reporters that that people. Um, actually trust their word because they're reporting the media like like yourself when 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 we listen to the Benjamin report we know that that Marcus is keeping it real you know and of course you're gonna get some flack behind it but again if if Marcus was to lie be lying then you expect that individual to actually clap back and say something so um, he, he did the same thing with Jay Will last week when we had the the right. uh, um, podcast. Like we talk about KD every week, but yeah, it, it is what it is. KD again back in the media again, not just for that, but also for something that I kind of agree with that he was saying. You know, Scottie Pippen came out and had some tough words for KD, saying that um, LeBron James won a um, ring or a championship without help, basically saying that. Um, KD, like you couldn't do it, you know, which is understandable. But again, for me, like what we was alluding to last, um, po- uh, last podcast is he doesn't have that that size on him, and even though that he can actually shoot and do everything else, the agility, the shot, you know, people gonna rough him up. And some people know when you get under a person's skin because they're not calling fouls the way they typically do in regular season. You know, again, like we said, it's like they were playing the NFL game on on on, on the on the hardwood. You know, um, it, 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 it's it's different, but I understand what KD because KD actually said, "Yo, aren't you the one that didn't want to um um jump in the game um when 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 it was a a, a last play and the uh, um the 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 coach." He actually called a play for someone else. We know who that is. That's Michael Jordan. They called a play for Michael Jordan. You felt like you felt some type of way you was not going to come into the game. Um, and if it was not Michael Jordan, anyone else, you know, you can't say that Katie's not a team player. And you basically have that history of not being a team player. It's just kind of some something like Keyshawn Johnson. When Keyshawn Johnson talk about NFL players and their divas and this, that, and the other. And you're one of the biggest divas. I remember when you was on the Jets. I remember when you was on these teams. And you always wanted the ball. You always yelled and this, that, and the other. So, look, man, these people that criticize people, you better make sure your shit don't stink. You better make sure that you don't have nothing that I can go ahead and fall back to. To, to basically make your comments seem like you don't know what the hell you're talking about, even though you're a six-time um, um, NBA champion, you know. Now again, it is what it is, you know. Um, Sometimes these um, individuals, like Ian, um, not Ian Rappaport, uh, Ian, was it Ian Rappaport? The 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 what's his name in that movie? You feel me, Michael Rappaport? Yeah. You know, um, in that movie where we called him. Um, that that racist movie yeah remy yes remy Remy. his name remy you know what i'm saying like you can't be talking trash this that and the other but then when somebody say yo come see me or i'm gonna come see you now you filing charges and this that and the other like again you gotta watch what you're saying if you know that you ain't about that life when it comes to a reporter if you're saying something you better make sure that it's verbatim and even if it's verbatim you don't say that came out his mouth you say you 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 make it seem like 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 it's you that's saying that you know so you can still have that relationship and you're not throwing that 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 player under the bus so it is what it is i agree and i don't agree with kd again you shouldn't be commenting on regular civilians regular you know uh, um fans because a fan gonna be a, a fan you know and fans are blinded you see me like come on man i talk about the miami heat wherever i get a chance to you know so you know i'm kind of blinded a little bit but but again when it comes to these reporters like Stephen A, when it comes to these report or reporters like uh, Michael Rappaport, you know, actor slash reporter Michael Rappaport, if you say certain things, it got to be valid. And if it's not valid, 
you got to understand that some people, KD especially, you know, Aaron Rodgers especially, they're going to go ahead and have some flack for you. So, you know, it is what I mean, it is. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but, like, I think there's nothing wrong with, with what Scottie Pippen said. I mean, Scottie Pippen is a six-time NBA champion, and I feel like he has every right to comment – on what he sees as far as basketball is concerned. I think what he's done in the past is kind of irrelevant. You know, like it's, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, you know, at times he wasn't a team player, but he was more talking about how LeBron is more a facilitator and he makes a lot of other players better. KD is not necessarily that player. And that's what Scottie Pippen was saying. Scottie Pippen was like, yo, um, KD is a shooter he's a scorer and we all know that's what he is he's not a facilitator like maybe a Kyrie or a Steph or you know or any other great player that's a facilitator or Chris Paul he's not a, a player that's like that so I think Scott Scottie Pippen has every right to say what he said now what he said did it it you can't say a comment like that and not think that KD is not going to clap back at this point, though. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like Because if, you, if you're coming after K, KD, KD is going to strike back with some Twitter finger response every time. You know, like, you should already know this. If you have seen this podcast for the past few episodes, you already know that KD will respond to anything that's that's – makes him portrayed in a negative manner and he has every right to do it just like scotty pippen has every right to comment and say hey if you know if lebron was on that team he would have found a way to advance he has every right to say that it's yeah, his does. opinion yes you know yeah, everybody has an opinion especially if you're one of these talking heads uh you have an opinion i have an opinion as well so if i say something right and you know, I didn't play football on a on a professional level, on a collegiate level. People are gonna say, "Oh yeah, you can't say something about a player because you didn't play the game." I think that's ridiculous. If I say something and if I see something on 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 the court or the field, and I feel like it's valid, and I feel like Scottie Pippen's comments were valid, he has every right to say it. And Kevin Durant, at the same time, yes, you have every right to clap back if you want to. But at this point, it seems like you're just making news. I know that's not the truth. I know that's not your agenda to make news. I know that's not your your goal. But, like, at this point, it just looks like you just want to make sure or want to be right in the situation uh, you uh, just and then at some at some point you know you've had arguments with your with your wife at mm -hmm. some point and and i'm sure at times you were correct in the situation and you at some point though you have to just let it go because what what what's the point of continuing to argue there's there's no point of just really continuing to 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 let people know uh, uh, that you're right about a situation. And I think a lot of times people want to be right so bad that they have to come out on social media and show how right they are. And, you know, it's, it's really for the viewer to really make their own opinion at the same time. You don't really need to clap back every time, KD. Like in this situation, Scottie Pippen is a, is a you know one of the best defenders of all time. He was more, I would say, a facilitator. He, he, facilitator. He wasn't a, sh a a scorer as much as Michael Jordan was. Obviously, he got Michael Jordan. Why would you need to be exactly. a scorer if you got arguably the best scorer of all time on your team? But KD, man, like, come on, man, like, I it, it's. I feel I feel like you should take the high road, man. Just just uh, take the high road at some at some point. That's what we people disagree. are always going to say things about you. You are always in the limelight. That's you know, it disagree. just makes it seem like you are just creating a story and that's what you do. But he's and not the one creating a story the story for people like us to talk about it. See, but he's not the one creating the stories. The people like look, like Scotty Pimpin, you're not an analyst. The only reason why they talk to your ass is because your ass played with Michael Jordan. You got six rings. 
they're not talking to you like you're Stephen A. They're not talking to you like you're one of these individuals that really um, live this. Like you, like you do this. You be taking your time writing these articles and this, that, and the other. You're watching what you're watching, this, that, and the other. Who? What, what is that? Denmark? Yeah, yeah. Den- Denmark. Was, Denmark was, just was scored. Good, you know. Over here, Denmark is is representing their boy Christian Eriksen, who you know his career is over right now because he collapsed on the field. With, the best player from Denmark, and they are still, you know, competing in the Euros right now. They just scored a goal against Wales, so shout and, out to Denmark. And that's something that the league needed to do. K- KD, I mean, it would have been perfect. Like, to be honest with you, like, I, I really don't think that the Milwaukee Bucks should have been in the playoffs right now. I think that um, it was supposed to be KD. You know, they was lucky that he had his foot on the line because it would have been a complete different – topic right now if he would have shot that ball with his foot behind the line and it would have been a three it would have been no overtime it would have been none of that and all these comments that people are having about kd wouldn't be happening right now they would have been like yo he's having one of the greatest careers in the playoffs um till this day because i think he was averaging well not averaging but the last two games 48 50 points a game were like maybe like a few um like uh, 14 assists and rebounds and this that and other i don't have the numbers in front of me but he definitely was doing good so um and, and my whole thing i agree with you not kd not talking to responding to everyone about the comments but again reparable people like you talking about a six time NBA champion. You think he's not gonna go ahead and say something about that? Right. Stephen A, he's gonna say something about that. Skip, right. Shannon, any one of these people that's on that stage, I feel like isn't his right that he should respond to those people. You feel me? But if it's a fan, then you know, let it go because they're gonna say what the hell they wanna say. So I do also wanna point out that before the season started we talked about like who we thought was going to make the NBA finals. Mm -hmm. And I just want to point out that I said that I don't think Brooklyn is going to stay healthy until the end of the playoffs. And that's exactly what happened. James Harden ends ends up getting injured. He's not a hundred percent. And then Kyrie, who I think is the biggest superstar who gets hurt the most. I think it's like he gets hurt damn near every year. This dude gets hurt. Yeah, you know? I, I feel you, but and it, what happens again? He gets hurt but, again. But think about it. In the sense, what, 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 um, you know, I think we both agreed on that. I was calling Harden. You know, he when it comes to playoffs, he disappears, and he's been disappearing. You know, uh, again, these people are gonna say it's the hamstring, but I don't care. It's I'm going the through the history. I'm going through the history. Mm-hmm. Every time you make the playoffs, even when you have CP3 on your team, you found a way to lose. Period. So it's different. Me. Like, I think that Giannis truly, truly did that on purpose. Because he was the one that injured Kyrie. There was no way that you was going to get the actual ball and that rebound. Kyrie already had it, basically. Why? You position your feet directly where he's going to land. Some people gonna say he's not not he's gonna sweep it under the rug. I think I think that it was a dirty play. Again, the on the the NBA outlawed certain plays like that, and nobody has been saying anything about that on none of them big platforms. I really think that Giannis was dirty in that play. Period. You yeah. know, and some people are gonna be like, "Oh, Wes, you don't know what you're talking about." Go yeah. ahead and look at. I'm it. gonna be one of those. Go players. look. Let me, I'm let gonna me, be one let me ask y'all about motion fouls because, like, what you were just talking about, how he positioned himself under the guy's feet. I heard the NBA is gonna start cracking down on like motion fouls. Yes. Like, like when you like fake a three and then the guy jumps up and then you go under him so he could fall on you. The yeah. like, what, do you what do you guys think about? Because I personally, I don't like motion fouls. When we grow, when we grew up, right as kids. Motion fouls wasn't really a thing like that, but now it's like a real thing. Like they get called, they get like three point calls for that easy. What yeah, do you guys think? 
Yeah, I mean, I, to, to be honest, like, that's why I'm turned off from the NBA a lot. Yep. Because the foul calls are just ridiculous, man. And they, they just slow the game down so much. Even technical fouls, they call, like, so much now in flagrant fouls. What they call a flagrant foul these days is just crazy compared to what they used to not call in, in the 90s. Like, you could damn near elbow somebody in the face, and sometimes that would not get called. But now, it, it, it really turns me off uh, about the NBA. And at the same time, players, I'm not going to lie, we've been talking about Chico, you know, young Chico. Mm-hmm. But he is one of those main players who benefits from the current uh, play call or, or ref calls that happen. Because he, I mean, when you know the rules, and, and this applies to soccer as well, it's like, you are going to try to get an advantage however you can. And Mm -hmm. if you can get a call, then why not try to draw the file? You know, like Trey Young and James Harden are notorious for doing stuff like that. So, yeah, I I agree that – D. Wade. Some and D Wade, obviously Smart somebody started. who started. you know. I mean, uh, Mark Cuban was was you know talking smack after that first final, saying that he was getting every call, and he kind of was. was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Miami Heat people, but he kind of was, he but he was making his free throws. So like you know, you can't really knock him. You know, it, it's up to you to kind of make the free throws and make it happen. So but yeah, I totally agree with the NBA trying to crack down on those type of calls because it slows the game down tremendously, and you feel like the game is fit. Fixed at this point when you watch a game and you see all these ref calls you're like is this a real game i'm watching or is this fixed because yeah. the refs are so involved mike dunleavy in mike dunleavy and he already went ahead and spoke on you know the the league you know telling refs to make certain calls and this that, and the other you know so again yeah I, I definitely agree you know you you running up court and you got the defender behind you and you stop on purpose just so he could run into you as a foul right you know or or, or the d wade rule that's what we're calling it now the d wade rule you're gonna pump fake you're gonna make it seem like you're shooting a three and you let you you jump into the guy when he's in the air right like like all those things you know Dwayne wade wouldn't be a hall of famer if he didn't have that move you know, uh, um, that's he, he had like half of his points because of that, you know, and not saying that he wasn't a great player. Of course, you know, he's Miami. Um, so so, um, you know, I'm not going to knock it too much, you know, but 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 again, it, it, going back to what you alluded to, it it, it, it it slows down the game. It make me don't want to watch the game every time you're 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 on the foul line. And it seemed like my team. Or your team is the the ones that's not getting the calls. So so yeah, I, I definitely agree with the NBA going ahead and going that route because like yo, like you don't want people like me, people the regular civilians out here, fans to feel like the game is rigged, especially when you had Mike Dunleavy, um, Mike um um Donahue, I think is Mike Donahue went up um the the individual, the referee, former NBA referee that went to jail because of um. Um, rigging games or calling fouls or this, that, and the other. Um, I may have the name wrong. Um, I, th- I think you got it right, actually. Mike, okay. I think it's Mike Donahue. Yeah, Mike Donahue. But, mm-hmm. but again, he went to prison behind that. He exposed yeah. the NBA, you know, but you don't hear people talking about that because it's going to go ahead and devalue the actual game. And especially right now, since now it seems like every state right now, you could go ahead and bet. You could bet on games. You could bet on this, that, and the other. So right. if you could bet on games, you want to make sure that, that the games aren't tainted. I remember... I, you never seen that movie Blue Chip? No. Shaq. It was Shaq. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nick Nolte? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead yeah, and did, watch I, that. I yeah, yeah, that. yeah. It's been that, a minute, but yeah, yeah I did that, see that. That is like key, key reasons. If you haven't watched that movie, go ahead and watch that movie. It's basically like what we're talking about right now. You know, it, of course, it was in college. I think who who was in that game? I think Penny Hardaway was in that game also. I'm not sure. It's so, so long ago. But again, you know, you don't want to 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 lose people, fans like myself. You know, from from bullshit like that. Like, I want to see a pure game. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. That last game against Brooklyn and Milwaukee was a real game. It was a real game. That first game with the Clippers and the Suns was definitely a good game. It's like, yeah, there was calls, but they let them play. Yeah. 
you know i'm just like just be consistent you know it, it'd be so it'd be up and down with the referees one day you're letting things go the next day you're not letting things go you're calling fouls for every little small little play and then of course that team that's down is now is tied right it, it, it just gets so annoying and, and, and again, I do really be feeling like the games be rigged, but hey, I may be wrong, but I know I'm not the only individual that's thinking that. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel the exact same way. I mean, definitely the the it cheapens the game a lot if you if you're depending on these calls to get an advantage in the game. We just want to see a, a, a fluid flowing game. Um, because it's more aesthetically pleasing to see. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, what if what if in the fourth quarter they get rid of all refs and they just let them play, <laughs> and oh, they nah, get to call their own fouls? <laughs> you would call you, yeah, nah. either you call your own foul nah. or there, or there's just no <laughs> fouls. Uh, it, nah, it will be, be a fight definitely. <laughs> yeah, you they, know, especially with somebody like Demarcus Cousin in the game oh, because the ooh. same thing happened with him. Yeah, we let them fight like hockey. We let them fight in the fourth quarter. No refs, n- no fouls. You let them fight. Fuck it. That would be a good thing. Put them in a they, penalty if box they, if they actually <laughs> let them yeah. actually fight. Like for real, for real, that would be a hockey. good thing. You it know? would be like if they let them fight. NFL, just take off your helmets and fight. You know, no slamming, no nothing, you know. That's where hockey has it right. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is where hockey has it right. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Uh, you just let them fight. Yeah, they're going to be in the penalty box after the fight. But they know that going in. Part of the game. You no. know, part of the game. <laughs> no. They know that going in. They're, so as soon as, they, as soon as they drop their gloves, you already know. It's time to fight. See, but damn, they, they still be having a helmet on. I'm not trying to punch no helmet. Yeah, you gonna break true. my head. I, 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 I would keep my helmet yeah. on if no, I'm gonna no, fight. I'll probably though. grab the front of your helmet and swing you all over the that, place. That's what that that is you what they know? do. They do uh, that uh, too. Uh, um, I think in the NFL, the only sweet spot is the stomach. That's the only open area. Yeah, it really you know, is. But, like, yeah. but 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 I will take your helmet off, like rip your helmet off, just like and, Andre Do- Johnson did with oh, yeah. um, uh, Cortland Finnegan. <laughs> Give him a few uppercuts. You know, Andre Johnson from the two piece dinner. You feel? me from Popeyes, you know, you know three piece dinner. All right, let's you know? let's uh let's jump into Jalen Rose. We're talking about NBA. Um, so Jalen Rose has been in the news. I mm-hmm. see, I seen this mm-hmm. on Fox News. I seen this on CNN. So um, he said that he's disappointed that the NBA didn't send an all black roster to the Olympics. Now, he said a little bit more than this. He said because uh, I guess Kevin Love is uh, now a part of the U.S. Olympic team. So he said Kevin Love is on the USA Olympic team roster because of tokenism. He is. And he also said, I'm disappointed they are afraid to send an all-black team to the Olympics. So uh, he's kind of getting some flack for this. What do you think, Wes? I, look, I completely agree with it. You know me. My, I, I, I don't have no problems with controversy. You feel me? I'm going to say what the hell I want to say, and it is what it is. I really do really feel that that is the case because, one, Kevin Love is old. Kevin Love, you know, is not – shouldn't be on, on on the Olympic team. He was already on the Olympic team. Cool, no problem. You have other individuals that was on the Olympic team before also. But, again, it's different now. You got new stars. You got Tatums. You got Adebayo. You got all these individuals that said that they're going to go ahead and be in the Olympics. And then who do you follow that up with? Kevin Love. Like, there's no one in the league talking about Kevin Love. I'm just being real with you. Like, since LeBron threw him away, nobody's been talking about Kevin Love. For, so, for him to be the only white player on the team, basically a has-been. Now, 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 again, he's better than the average person. He's still better than me because, again, people that's in the league, those are the greatest players in, in the world when it comes as far as basketball. But, again, still, why are you on the team? And it's not talent because if you base your talent compared to the – the other individuals in the NBA that play your position, yo, you're not going to be on the team. I, I kind of really think that they kind of put them on the team because other people don't want to play. People like AD, people like Jimmy Butler, LeBron James, certain things like that. I think that's the only reason why they threw him in there. But, again, you could have thrown anyone else in there, and I'm pretty yeah. sure he wouldn't have been white. You know, because, again, the only individual that I really can put up there as a white player – um, it's Luca, but again, Luca is playing for his own um, country. Right. And Jokic. Has, Jokic. Oh, and Jokic, and they're playing. For, he's playing for his country. Yeah. But again, 
um, those individuals are playing for their country, so I understand. But again, the only pure white probably person that I feel could have been there is JJ Reddick. And again, he is a has been. He's doing what we're doing right now, podcasts. So again, why <laughs> yeah. would I have Kevin Love on the actual um, Olympics if he's not really somebody that the normal average fan don't even talk about? Like, yeah. yo, and you probably going to be like, it's because he plays in Cleveland. No, it's because he's not that great right now. He's always injured, you know, and, 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 and not just that, but I think he has a psychological problem. I think he came out saying that. Um, I don't yeah, know exactly he, yeah, what he deals is. with anxiety. Wait, and why do I want like somebody that. that's dealing with anxiety yeah. on and my depression, team? Yeah. You know, I don't want you on my team and you're dealing with anxiety. If I get to pick and choose who I want, I'm not going to choose you. I'm not going to choose that individual that um, used to play for the Raptors that do play for the Spurs right now. I don't remember his name. You know why? Because he's a nobody. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? And yeah. that's the reason why I, 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 he used to play with Kyle Lowry. That was Kyle Lowry's second. In, um, second guy, the the shooting guard, Demar Derozan. Demar Derozan. He's also suffering from you know anxiety. I still and stuff would rather like see that. him than Kevin I would Love. Still, exactly, <laughs> him. Be, he got a better game than Kevin Love. Yeah. Somebody like Ricky Williams back in the day, same thing. You have anxiety issues. I remember Ricky Williams when fans ran up, ran to his car. He jumped out the car and start running. You know, I don't want to have to have somebody like that. On that team, on my team, because again, again, I know you're gonna be like, oh, so if you got a mental problem, you don't like, so you're basically excluding us. Look, they're doing that right now with the vaccine. If you don't get vaccinated, you can't. Oh, I'm coming to this restaurant, or you can't. Oh, 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 with the cruise ships, you can't even go on a cruise because you're not vaccinated. You got a mental illness. I'm not trying to deal with that. Uh, um, I, I wish you the best. I hope you get all of the 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 counseling and all the treatment that you need. But I don't want to have to deal with that. Who? Like when you're having a kid, nobody when they're having a kid, oh, I want my kid to have a mental problem before the kid come out. No, nobody wants to have to deal with that headache because it's going to have to you're going to have to uh, uh, change your whole life behind that. Now, if that just happens, then you're just going to have to deal with it. But if I get to pick and choose, well, I'm going to choose somebody that came out and say he got a mental illness that he's suffering from anxiety. Seriously, no. man. I mean, to be honest, like when I saw the news that Kevin Love was on his team. I thought it was odd, like like straight up. Like, I was just like Kevin Love. Like, why Nobody did loves he pay him. somebody? <laughs> yeah, no, no love for Kevin Love on the Mark West Sports Podcast. Because did you pay somebody to get get on his team? Or I don't understand. Like, there's really not a lot of logic that goes into it. And I'm glad that Derrick Rose came out and said something Jaylen about Rose. this. Jalen Rose, Jalen Rose. I, I mean, was, was Jalen Rose? Jalen Rose. Yeah, Jaylen. Jaylen Rose. Yeah, no, All right, on, okay. Huh? Yeah, um, Jalen Rules, I- I'm glad you came out and said something about it because it, it just makes no sense. We just talked about DeMar DeRozan should should probably be on this team. I would even put Tim Har- Hardaway Jr. on this team over a Kevin Love, bro. Like, come on, like Chris Middleton, I'd put him on, on the team bef- besides – uh, Kevin Love, this is actually a player who's in the Eastern Conference Finals. He's the number two guy. He's better than a Kevin Love on the team, and I know he's from here. Like, come on. Like, the, the fact that they added Kevin Love to the team is almost the same way that they added Christian Leitner to the Dream Team. Like, for, to this day, I'm just like, <laughs> why is Christian Leitner on this team? You already got John Stockton and Chris Mullen was on the dream team. Those were legitimate all stars uh, during that time. But why would you add a Christian Leitner, a, a player the, who who hasn't even played an NBA game at the time? They just added him on the team. The same reason why they um got rid of Mark Jackson and put Steve, Steve Kerr. Kerr in the building. Same reason why they have Steve Nash. Being the head coach, same reason why they have these. They put in certain people in positions, and I know you, Steve Nash, Hall of Famer. You know this, that, and the other. Now nah, look, who else? Who else is white that just got signed as the head coach to the Dallas Mavericks? Oh, 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 Jason Kidd again. I, mean, right? I, I thought he was like mixed, half black, half white. Yeah, yeah he's not. Oh, he's not fully white. Oh my bad, Jason. <laughs> he's light skin. <laughs> he's light skin. He's my light bad, skin. My skin, bad. Man. My Stop bad. My bad. My bad. Jason Kidd. <laughs> no, but still, regardless of the fact, same reason why certain um individuals in the in the NFL get head coaching jobs because of what? Because they're white. 
you know, and we're going to say that on the Mark West Pork podcast because we're going to give you the real, you know, when you go, we're, we're not, we're not uh, uh, sponsored by these big media platforms and we got to say what they want to say. We're going to say what we want to say, which is the truth. We're saying what the streets are saying and the streets are saying this is the reason why. White yeah. privilege. We also had an episode on the Mark West Sports podcast speaking this same topic, you yeah. know. So, again, it's not unbelievable for me to see why they're doing this but again it just makes our point even more valid when someone has been like kevin love not nowhere near top five forwards in the nba playing in the olympics i could have sworn when you're in the olympics it's all of the best individuals that's in the yeah. nba or whatever like that like it's yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah that's it's what, what it's, it is. That's what it's supposed to be. But you know, a lot of players who played before, you know, de- decline, and a lot of players who are injured or dealing with injuries decline. I'm sure Jamal Murray, or I'm sure James Harden, you know, or Kawhi Leonard. These players would likely be on this team if they weren't dealing with an injury. James Harden right said now. he's playing. <laughs> oh, I heard he wasn't. I heard he wasn't playing. Nah, he said he's playing. Nah, he said he's playing. And I was like, ain't your ass injured? Yeah, I heard he wasn't playing. I heard he was thinking about it, and then he was like, nah, I'm just going to rest, okay, okay. rest the hamstring. But still, he wanted to play, well, which is which is great. But, KD um, is playing also. KD and I is think, playing. I think KD and James Harden, because I think I heard KD and James Harden is playing, and I think the reason why they're playing is because they didn't win the, the championship. So let's okay. get something. This yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dame, Dame is on the team as well. So you are the teams are, and Bam, we should mention that Bam is on the Olympic team as well. I think Bam know? is on the team just because he's trying to recruit. That's the whole reason why they let Jimmy <laughs> Butler stay to the crib. Cause you know Jimmy Butler have a certain attitude, you feel me? And he may rub people the wrong way. So Jimmy stay to the crib. We want we want yeah. out of bio to be friendly over there and you know, sweet talk people the same way that Dwayne Wade sweet talk LeBron James and Chris Boss to come to Miami. Right. So again, exactly. if that's that's what you need to do, um, Jimmy Butler. Stay to the crib. You know we love you, but stay to the crib. Let Jimmy on uh, um, Bam Adebayo go to the playoffs and finesse and bring somebody to Dade County so we could have our own victory down here. But hey, it is what it is. I really do feel like the reason why this is happening is because of white privilege. Absolutely. Right, so uh, you brought up a good uh, good topic that I want to talk about, which uh, Dallas Mavericks hired Jason Kidd to be their head coach. Uh, I just wanted to ask you guys: Is this a good look for Luka Doncic being that there's an ex-point guard as the head coach, or do you think it might be a little bit harder since it's an uh, ex-point guard as a head coach? I think it's I think it's a great thing because I think that's exactly what Luka Doncic needs. I think he needs someone to tell him to slow down a little bit because sometimes he feels like, like Tyler Hero. Have we said about him – previously on this sport as podcast this that for the he moves a little too fast and he uh just doesn't make the right play and tries to play you know pun intended hero ball and that's what Donkic tries to do as well obviously he's the best player on the team and him playing hero ball leads to wins but at the same time you have to be able to distribute you have to be able to get in the paint and kick it out which is something trey young does trey young young chico will get into the paint, kick it out, or he'll have a little floater. It's not always, you know, about him scoring all the time. So if Doncic can develop that type of game, which we all know Jason Kidd, one of the best point guards to ever play this game, um, he did have some success coaching before, that this is kind of the, the, the best scenario for him. And especially Jason Kidd, also used to play for Dallas as well. He's that's he was drafted from the Dallas uh by the Dallas uh Mavericks. So he's got that tie there. So I think it's it's a perfect fit for, for Donkic to really grow as a player. So I'm I'm excited to see what Kid does with uh Luca. Yeah, you know, I think it was a no brainer. I think it was really a welcome home campaign. You know, because like you said, you know, he was drafted by them. He actually played for them twice, you know. He played for them, you know, then he went to the, the, the Nets and then he yeah. came back, you know, and played for them also. And won a championship and with them. And won a championship. I think, was the championship against us? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it was. In 2011. Yes, it was. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, of course, loyalty over here. I know when we lose. He was a bench player, but it is he what was still it is. That's not what people gonna say when they say he's an NBA champion. You know, yeah. and, and not just that, but he was a good player, one of the greatest players, point guards of all time in the NBA. One yeah, of the, not the, not the top, but one of the greatest. You know, because again, yeah. you got Steve Nash. You got a lot of um, point guards out here that did their thing. But I really think that it's really going to be a good fit for Luka. You know, you got someone that played the position. And not just that, but Jason Kidd, when he came into the league, he basically was like Luka. His shot was not that great. Right. You know, but he developed his shot. And something that I've been saying that Luka doesn't have, he has the shot. He can make shots, but he's not as consistent. He's not as consistent as the free throw line. He's not as consistent consistent at the three point line. Same thing like Jason Kidd when he first came into the league. So why not go ahead and be behind the tutelage of that individual, someone mm-hmm. that's gonna give it to you raw and uncut? And I like the plain fact that he is a little mixed individual. I did not know that, but <laughs> again, I do like that that fact because to be honest with you, like. Us, you know, our we're we're a little bit aggressive. Not all of us, but we're we're aggressive. And I think, you know, when you come with, you know, the Caucasian um, you know, head coaches, they be a little bit more laid back and they don't get into people's faces like that. Not everyone, because you got different personalities. It's some some would get in your face, but we we talking about the the norm, you know. So I really do feel like he can go ahead and tell Luca. This is what you're doing wrong, and Luca is not going to take it personally. Something that I feel like he was taking personally with Carlisle, you know, and not just that crazy thing is like Carlisle re- resigned, and he already got a head coach job with the Pacers. Yeah, showing you like the Pacers, you're leaving the Mavs with Luca and Porzingis for the Pacers. Now, we know that Oladipo wanted to leave over there because what? He said it's a dysfunctional organization. Why would you want to go over there? It's showing you that Luca is a strong personality and he's probably dictating a lot of things and he don't want to deal with that. So they probably need another strong mind, another person that has the accolades and, and is well known in the league, you know. And not just that, but you can steal some things and some some plays that 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 the Lakers had because he was on the Lakers co- on, 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 on coaching staff. So, you know, if you're trying to elevate yourself, he could use certain things that he see LeBron James do it, doing give it to you. You do the same thing. It probably elevate your game. It's things that I did in the 90s or, or in the early 2000s. You mean be me being Jason Kidd. I'll give you that game and you can do that as well and help your game. So I really do think it's a good fit. You know, um, Mark Cuban, one of the um, best owners in the league because he does what he's supposed to do. You know, he's always traveling in the games with with the guys, which can be a good thing or a bad thing because, like, I don't know, like, I move different when I know the head honcho, the boss boss, is working with me that day compared to my just regular supervisor. You know what I'm saying? Which would be probably the head coach. So it could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. You know, he's loyal. You know, that's his team. Because, again, you got other uh, owners that normally you never see them. They in the, in, in the background. Right, but right. I really do think that it's a good fit for the coach, um, um, Jason Kidd now, for the organization, and also for, for the owner and Luca. I agree 100%. Um, so I, 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 there's nothing really from else for me to add on that. There's one more, uh, I think, NBA topic I think we had, which is uh, Devin Booker um, being compared to to Kobe Bryant, you know. And I think there are similarities. There's definitely similarities to so. the game where, you know, uh, Devin Bur- Booker plays pretty fast. And uh, at times he can be a, a facilitator, but he that's not his natural role. But he can just like Kobe was. I mean, Kobe, uh, people think that Kobe was, was a ball hog, and he was to a point. He took a lot of shots, but he also had a lot of assists uh, in his game. So I think Devin Booker aesthetically definitely looks the same as Kobe, but it's unfair at this point of his career to really compare to the great Kobe Bryant. Kobe obviously... It, you know, one of the best players of all time. And to this point of Devin Booker's career, there are similarities as far as scoring at the young age that he's at. 
So I understand why people are drawing comparisons to him, but he's got a long way to go. He's got an extremely long way to go to be um, on the level of of a Kobe Bryant. Um, Albeit, people want to give Kobe props for winning the five championships, which obviously he deserves some credit, but let's be honest. Shaq. He was the second best player for those first three championships. And it was a, a, a pretty large gap. I'm, I don't want to say he was close to being Shaq because Shaq was by far the most dominant player in the game at that time. Still There was is. nothing that he could do, nothing a defender could do to stop Shaq. He was just a menace in the pain you know he was a menace to society you know like like kane in that movie you know he he was just um he was just uh you know a terror in in the paint like i used to call him the basketball monster because he was just literally just scaring people once he got once he got the ball like in the post you were like it's over it's over (laughs) you know because he would and if you doubled him he had the wherewithal to pass it out to a Kobe or to a Rick Fox or to a Robert Ory for a three. You know, it, they were just an unstoppable team. So I don't think Kobe should get as much props for winning the, the first three championships as the last two. Those last two championships. Paul Gasol. Paul Gasol was there, but he was the number two. Yeah, but Paul Gasol scored more points. And. In, in- in some of those games. I mean, of course, there's going to be some games where he scores. I mean, Chris Bosh sometimes scored the most points when he was part of the big three. I really think. But he was definitely the third guy. I think that they Kobe gave, was definitely the number one. Kobe was the number one, but I think Paul Gasol had better numbers and should have been the MVP, but they gave it to him, um, gave it to Kobe because of his name. I mean, that could be the reason. Uh, I think Kobe got slighted a couple years when Steve Nash won the MVP. I feel like one of those years – um, Kobe should have won the MVP, and I think it was kind of a makeup call, uh, to to um give to him. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure what the numbers are uh, as far as Paul Paul Gasol, but I remember watching it, and I already you knew that he that Kobe was the best player on the team. From yeah. what I saw, he was clearly the best player. Mm-hmm. He needed Paul Gasol to win the championship because they would still make the playoffs with Kobe. <laughs> When it was just a bunch of people like I remember I don't know that playoffs. I remember that playoffs kind of clearly, but. and Kobe was having bad games. The only reason why they won was because Paul Gasol and because Kendrick Perkins for the Boston Celtics got injured. That was the only reason why they won. You know, um, me personally, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to the Black Mamba. As far as you know, people comparing um, Devin Booker to Kobe, I'm like, no. Like we're talking about the Black Mamba over here. You know what I'm saying? You definitely don't have that same personality that Kobe has. And just the plain fact that you don't have that personality, you can't compare him to uh, um, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant has that same personality that MJ has. MJ don't even like talking to certain people. You know what I'm saying? And you could be a, a basketball player, and he not even talking to you. Kobe is somebody that, look, I mean, Kobe died. Who did the eulogy? Who did this, that, and the other? Michael Jordan. You know, someone that... People know had a bad attitude. Greatest player of all time in NBA history. Still the GOAT in my eyes. Some people going to say it's LeBron. But, again, you can't compare someone that doesn't even have that mentality. Everyone can shoot. It's the same way, like I said, with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, I look at Kawhi Leonard, and he shoots like LeBron. I'm not LeBron, but Michael Jordan. He he reminds me of Michael Jordan, but I can't compare him to Michael Jordan because you don't have that mentality. You don't have that kill you mentality on the court. You're you're a silent leader. And if you're silent, you're not a leader. That's why I feel like he need to come to the Miami Heat and Jimmy Butler can go ahead and be the leader and you could do your thing and call it a day. Again, please hear this podcast, Kawhi Leonard. Come to Day County 1. Here you got the beaches. We got the weather. We got the women. You don't need to worry about your ACL because it's normally hot over here. Right now and it's like 102 degrees. we got the best doctors degrees. anyway. Huh? We got the best doctors anyway. Exactly. We got yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we definitely got that. So for me, when you're comparing – Devin Booker to Kawhi, I'm um, not Kawhi, but to, to Kobe Bryant, I feel like the only reason why they're doing that is because they know that he had a relationship with him. 
he had a relationship with him, Kobe Bryant. Was, but Kobe Bryant had relationships with a lot of players. He had a, a relationship with, with um, Kyrie Irving. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, and I think Kyrie Irving, if you're talking about hands, is one of the best dribblers in the NBA. Period. Hands down. You know, I would put him in the same category as the Allen Iversons when it comes to before they put that rule in, you know, where he was carrying the ball. When he when you when he had put MJ on, on, on skates, you yeah. know, yes. I would put Kyrie same way, but again, you can't do that because you don't got that mentality. I look at him on um, Booker more like a pretty boy, you know. Um, so you can't. Did you ever look at Kobe Bryant like he was a pretty boy? No. You know this guy, like he's going to – this is the guy that had fights with Shaq. Shaq was like 395 pounds, you know, his last championship with the Lakers. Kobe Bryant, that's probably like 215 pounds, is fighting someone like if that. that. Like, yo, if that. If that. Yeah. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, come on. No. You got the Mamba mentality. And, and my whole thing is us, our culture, we don't want them to do that. Because, like, Kobe's one of the greatest players of all time as a black guy. You're trying to over here – Get this guy, and I know Booker is black, but I think he's looking, he look a little mixed. You feel me? And I don't want to put race in it, in it, but race comes with everything. Race is, race is everywhere, not racism, but race is, it is everywhere, you know? So, again, I cannot say that he's anything like Kobe Bryant. You may shoot good, but you're not Kobe Bryant. Kawhi, you might shoot like Michael Jordan, but you're not. Michael Jordan, why? Because in both cases, y'all don't have that. Jordan didn't have um, the the word Mamba mentality, but both y'all don't have that Mamba mentality. Jordan, he had the Mamba, I guess, Mamba mentality, rattlesnake Bef- mentality. Before it was Mamba before mentality. Before it was Mamba mentality. <laughs> I don't see that with Booker. Do you see that? Like, I mean, y'all, like, have you ever seen uh, um, um, Kobe or MJ, like, shoot horribly? Yeah, of like, course. It, yeah, I've seen it, both of them. At that moment? Yes. In I've that seen, moment? I've seen both of them shoot horribly in, in big games. I, I have, you know, both of them. Um, I, I think Devin Booker, I, to, to be fair to him, I don't know if he has a Mamba mentality or not, you know, and I don't want to say it's because he's light-skinned. You know, like I represent the light skinned nation myself. You know, no, 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 and I, no, I, no, I, you know, no, no, no. I, I, you're not really light skinned. Like that. you know the difference, man. You, you know, know who light skin is, Ben think, Simmons. But Chico, young Chico, has the Mamba mentality. Let's not, let's not, there let's let's not discount him. Because but we're talking about a different person he, now. He is a person who goes in the paint. He he's there. He's talking smack to the crowd to yes. other players. I love he, that. He he is a, a true, I think, leader on the on, on the court. And he doesn't look like he is, you know, intimidating. But he, I think, has that Mamba me- mentality. I and think I, I actually think Luca has that Mamba mentality. Yeah. As well, as far as like as much as he just thing. he goes in there. He he tries. He goes in there. He, people like Giannis do not have. People oh, no. like Bam doesn't do not have, have it. it. You know, like I mean, Jimmy Butler, he has it to a certain extent. If if he had the shot, he would be more like Kobe, but he doesn't have go. the shot. He but doesn't, but yeah. he has that mentality. He's there willing to go in, mm-hmm. you know, put his body on the line mm-hmm. and do whatever it takes, you know, to win a game. Absolutely. Um right. but yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if Devin Booker has it or not. I think doesn't. it's kinda early in his career. To really kind of you know say that Chris Paul, his teammate, does have that mon- mentality. He's willing to do anything and hurt himself, which he has to Every to, time. to get a championship. He's willing to put his body on the line, sacrifice himself. I mean, in the last series, he played with a with a hurt shoulder. Like he was basically out there playing with one arm. He was the reason why they try, won. Trying to to make them you know win, and he is Devin Booker's the reason why they won the first two games. So let, let's just be real, because Chris Paul has been out due to COVID protocol, and so well, you talking if, about this round if, though. If, if, if Devin Booker, Devin Booker has been playing great this whole series. No, nah, but whole I'm saying like, when, when it came to the last round, who really won that? Like you said, Chris Paul. He course, was Chris balling, Paul. and and he had an injured shoulder, and he still was doing his thing. So like nobody was talking about Devin Booker. Everyone was talking about Chris Paul, and that's what I'm saying. 
you don't have that Mamba mentality. You're a great player, great shot. You know, you're consistent at the free throw line. But again, certain people, bam, certain people, uh, um, 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 Giannis, y'all don't have that. So I feel like kind of disrespectful for people already trying to compare him to Kobe and not just that. Kobe just passed. Like, come on, man. You already trying to uh, 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 wipe out his legacy like he was just a regular ag- average Joe Smo? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and I'm not saying uh, uh, um, Booker is a regular Joe Smo, but like, come on, man. If we talking about and um, MJ is the greatest player of all time, and who is basically MJ? I swear, look, Kobe is MJ, oh, reincarnated. Yeah. Is yeah. just he's just Kobe, um, MJ still alive? He definitely copied his style. You feel me? He copied his style, but like, I don't really feel like he copied his style. I think MJ, like I said, aim, if, if if I copied your style and I died. You're not gonna do my eulogy because you're gonna feel some type of way like this guy been biting my 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 biting my style for the longest. You feel I, me? But you heard same, what Nas said. But, you feel me? You biting my style. At, at, you feel what I'm saying? Like, at, come on. At I'm the not same gonna time, really, a, imitation you know? is the best form of for flattery. Fun. At yeah. the same time, nah, you know, but, if somebody's biting my style or somebody sees, for example, if somebody sees my writing and I see some kind of. Uh, element that they use then i'm gonna be like oh okay he's looking up to me you know especially if he mm. verbally said hey uh, you know i i saw your work and i decided to write this way because of you which i'm sure that's what kobe did so i'm sure that plays a factor why see, mj did the eulogy see but again kobe Col- mj you didn't used to help nobody he helped kobe you know what I'm saying? But this How was after people? he retired, though. Yeah, again, Obviously. he don't help. Every, why he don't help LeBron? Why he don't help LeBron? A he lot of people don't like LeBron, though. Exactly. So LeBron and, don't need the help. <laughs> and not just that, not just that, but MJ helped certain people, and Kobe is the only one really I know of. That he helped, that but I think that's the, the reason. I think you that's the reason because he, he got a different. He uh, yeah. sees that Mamba mentality, the same Mamba mentality that that Jordan had in him. He seen it in on uh, um, 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 Kobe, and not just that. Kobe's the only one that could talk shit to MJ. Right, right. He, like no one talks shit to MD, MJ. You feel know I me? Mean? Kobe, like he's the only one to be like, "Well, I'm better than you." He's the only one that would say that. Yeah, you know I mean, mean? And, and, and MJ wouldn't really feel some type of way. You know, I mean? he'll probably start laughing and this, that, and the other. But again, that's, yeah, that's I'm, just I'm, my opinion on it. But again, I really feel like it's blasphemy for people to go ahead and start comparing him to um, Kobe right now. Same way, like you comparing Luca to to, to to Larry Bird. Like, yo, no, Larry Bird is consistent at the three. He's consistent at the free throw line. When that happens, then we can have that talk. Like I, I just hate people um, that that does that. They did the same thing with AJ Brown in the NFL, raw receiver for the Tennessee Titans, and comparing him to To. To is like he's he's like a, a a phenom, one of these different breeds. And then what did AJ Brown said? Like nah, you feel me? I'm not him. You know, I'm myself. You know, I I don't feel comfortable with y'all putting me in that category right now. You know, so again. It is what it is. Devin Booker, you doesn't ha- you you have everything, but you don't got get got that ment- mob of mentality. When you get that, cool. Yeah, I, I that's understand. what I'm saying. I think he's still young. He could still you know develop a, a killer instinct type of mentality. Exactly, I think exactly. He he could still definitely be that guy. For uh, I I just want to chime in and uh, remind everybody that uh, one of the the original Black Mamba was actually Roger Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather's uh, uncle. They used, oh, okay. him, they used to call him the Black Mamba. So okay. he was the original Black Mamba just whooping motherfuckers' asses. And uh, funny thing, is, well, not funny, but uh, he died actually, remember, Kobe died on January 2020. Roger Mayweather passed away in March 2020, right before wow. the pandemic really hit. Damn. So shout out to Roger Mayweather, rest in peace. Or rest in peace. Rest in peace to Kobe. But, hey, two Black Mambas, man, gone in 2020. Two of, like... And yeah, that Black Mamba mentality that y'all were talking about, Roger Mayweather had it, had that killer instinct. Just if he saw that he could whoop your ass and he was going to finish you off, he would finish you the fuck off. You know what I mean? Um, 
But the the next topic, I want to get into the NFL and this uh, football player that's supposedly the first uh, active gay football player, which is uh, I believe Carl Carl Nassib, uh, which is uh, right. plays for the Oakland Raiders. Now they say he's the first active. He's not the first ever gay football player. There's been gay football players that came out after they retired, or like Michael Sam, he came out right before he got drafted but yeah. he never played because he got cut right now, this is the first active gay football player and this is uh making the 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 news rounds what do you guys think about it I mean, I, who, 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 what jump on me first <laughs> 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 me personally like i'm like dog it just seemed like people nowadays just want attention like if you gay right why do you feel like you need to tell the world? Like, it's just like, live your damn life. You know what I'm saying? And, and not just that. People probably already kind of knew that you were actually gay. They just was like, all right, I'm not sure, you know, all right, it is what it is. But me, I'm going to be uncomfortable. I'm a player. We're showering. And I'm going to be thinking, are you watching me? You know, like, I know this whole drop in the soap thing. You <laughs> feel me? Is it true? <laughs> Where he try to, you know, I know he ain't try to mount me, but he's probably going to be <laughs> going ahead and probably looking at me like, I'm not sure. I don't know. That's what happens. Like, hey, it is what it is. People may not want to go ahead and say it. I'm going to go ahead and say it on the Mark West Sports Podcast. Again, you had Warren Moon came out and, and, and supported him, and I think a few a lot other, other players, players. that supported players, him. Again, there that's PR for me. That's PR for me. Like, they really don't care. Like, I don't care if you gay. You going to help me win the damn game? All right. It is what it is. Like, if I see you holding hands with somebody, then one plus one is two. Why? Like, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm you know, do you tell everybody when you sleep with your wife? Well, that's normal. That's already known. I see, see. But then you see what they're going to say? They're going to say, oh, that's already normal. Uh, 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 what you mean that's not, um, um, that's normal. That's already known. Again. You're doing your thing. You're living your life. You're 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 sleeping with whoever you're sleeping with. Who I care? Do you think I care what the hell you do on your personal life? I do not care. Now, again, I may feel some type of way like um, you know, if I'm if I'm a parent, which will happen sooner than later, you know, the countdown be- begins, a kill King Pierre will be here in the building Wednesday. But but again, my dad did this, you know, um, his brother is gay and, you know, I think I was like five, six years old, you know, um, I think that's when he probably came out, you know, I'm not sure. Cause you know, that was adult, adult conversation, you know, I just know that, you know, when my dad found out that was the last time he made me chill with him, go to his house, <laughs> you know, anything like that. Hey, 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 it is what it is. Some people that's listening to this podcast gonna be like, "Oh, you're 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 anti LGBTQ." Like, I do not care about that. I don't care what y'all do, and y'all don't care what I do. You feel me? Live your damn life. Why do you gotta go ahead and say hi over here? I'm straight. Hi over here. I'm gay. Hi over here. I just did this. Hi over here. Like, I don't care. We don't care. Live your life. You feel me? Just the plain fact that you got to say that. I think it's not a publicity stunt. Some people going to say, oh, he could live free now. He could live in his own skin. You was doing that before you had that 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 that, that press conference and said what you said. Nah, Nobody I, cares. I, I don't think he was really living his life fully to the, the exact truth of who he is because when when i believe if you are gay and you have not openly told anybody you're gay you are living with a secret so if you're living with a secret that is basically stopping you from being your natural self then you feel like okay well i have to just kind of come out and say it because i need to do this for me i need to do this for also other people who feel like they can't be their natural self because they're they weak. feel like they're going to be judged. You are going to be judged. Of course you are going to be judged, but still at the same time, like if you tell somebody like, hey, I, ha- I have a problem. Like if I had some kind of addiction, right? 
And the first steps to, towards re rehabilitation is to really kind of acknowledge and tell somebody, hey, this is what's going on with me. And if you don't, if you don't do that and you keep that shit in the whole time, then you're never going to really fully understand or, or uh, be at peace with this addiction or this uh, you know, attribute, I guess, that you have or, or character trait that you have. So I don't fault him for coming out with saying that he's gay at all because there's a millions of people out there I don't who him cannot tell their mother that they're gay because they're no... That? Because they know they're going to be judged and maybe kicked out of the house or or maybe put out on the street or oh whatever. That God. happens a lot. That happens when you, if your mom finds out you're a, lot. You're, you're, you're a young lady and she finds out that you're asleep on, on, on having sex at 14, 13, 16, they're going to kick you out of the house. No, like, no. Like certain things, I like wouldn't when they say, find out, they're going to, nah. they, you know. It's not as bad, especially with the black community and like high religious communities like you know, like Muslims or, or, you know, people who really practice Christianity to the T, they will completely shun you from the family. Like, I have a cousin personally who has been completely shunned from his family since he's come out. Like, his mother and father do not speak to him at all. And you don't think, like, these people fear that happening they're like oh i don't want my mother and father not to have a relationship with me anymore or i don't want the 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 place that i work to look at me a different way now because i come out as gay so it, it is a, a a sign of bravery for these people exactly. to come out and say hey i'm gay and i'm willing to take whatever comes after it because yeah he probably he might maybe lose endorsement deals. He might gain some endorsement yeah, deals. Yeah, probably gain. So it really kind of it really depends on you know who messes Again. with him or not. But you realize who who really loves you. I I feel like in that moment because that 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 choice is really going to put you in a different category at that uh, point. Like it's like it's almost like if if I if I killed somebody right. And I never told anybody that I killed somebody. It, as soon as I say that, it, it's a freeing experience for me. Because now I can, that weight that I was holding in my heart no, you say for no. so long is now off my back. And now I, That's different. in my mind, That's am different. saying, okay, I am willing to just be myself. Yes, I'm a killer, so to speak, in this scenario. Using the best ones. I'm a killer in this no. scenario, but you know, let's see it's who's different. really gonna mess with me or not. Let's nah. see. Let's see if my mom and my, and my family no. is really gonna still continue no. to love me or I'll not. Use a but one. I can now be my true self. No. Now, the, with all that being said, and it's being Pride Pride Month or whatever. It's not. I'm not saying that I agree with homosexuality or I agree with. You know, uh, you know, that type of lifestyle. I'm not saying that in any respect. But for a person to come out and say that they're gay, and especially in a sport like football where it's the most masculine of, you know, besides maybe fighting of all sports, for, for, a, come, for a guy to come out and say that, yeah, it's news. And, yeah, it's important. Yeah, I mean, it's important for a, for a guy. It important? It's important because there's a bunch of other gay football players, I'm sure. But that nobody cares refuse. if you're gay or not. No, people do care because why would it not be? Why would it be news? And and there's right. uh, there's 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 a bunch of kids right now who's playing high school football who are now going to be comfortable with themselves and sharing with their their teammate or homeboy and be like, "Yo, I'm gay." Nah, you know, because this guy came out. He's an NFL player and came out and said that he was gay. Nah. So, yes, I give props, and it's important for people to really live in their own truth and tell people in the world who they are and what, and, and what they are because you are living a lie, to be well, honest. A lot of these people are living a lie. A lot of these athletes are living a lie about who they are. Why do you have to say it? 
again. Because you no, will be no. judged. You're getting judged if you say it or if you don't say it. You're getting judged regardless of the fact. If I see you go out with your boyfriend and y'all kissing, then obviously you gay. You didn't have but to tell what, me that. But what if you're not? What if they're keeping it under wraps so much that you don't even know that, that this is person is That is a mental problem. That's something mentally that you need to overcome. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's something that you're scared of. It's just like if you're cheating on your, your wife and then you have an epiphany to tell her the truth. Aren't you scared of the repercussions that's going to happen? It's just like if you like young girls or young boys and you're an adult and you like sleep with young boys or young girls. You don't think that society, your family, and everybody's going to look at you some type of way? I like the murder one that you just uh, um, picked. But look at it if you, you know, me and you, we're grown men. You know, you're, you're 38. I'm 36. Let's just say that we liked young uh -uh, kids. You feel me? And then you want to come out. You think people going to go ahead and smile in your face? Some people going to turn their back on you. Now, again, you got to understand. I like yeah. your truth. You want to go I ahead? I think that's a little different. I think I think that's a little different. When oh. you're messing with little kids, that's different. But if, if you're a consensuing adult with another adult and y'all living, the that, they're living that gay life, then Let me that give you an example. This is real your life. prerogative. But if you're dealing with little kids, that's something different. Let me, me give you a little um, real life situation. You know, me working in the job that I work and. You know, one of my coworkers, he, you know, he, he, what they call it, um, came out to me. And you know how I feel about, you know, um, homosexuality. I don't really condone it. You know, it goes against my religion, go against all my beliefs and this, that, and the other. Did I treat him differently? No. Me, I, he didn't tell his dad. Again. I'm but that's friend. you, no, wait, wait, though. Wait. But guess what I advised that I told him? I told him, like, yo, like, you feel me? Your parents don't know, like, tell your parents because... I guess his parents probably kind of assumed. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know. You know, it, like this happened years back, years back, like maybe seven years ago. And I told him like, yo, like you got to keep it real with your dad. You feel I me? Mean? And his dad kind of shunned him a little bit. Right now they have a great relationship. You know, they speak this, that, and the other. He's in his own shell, this, that, and the other. But again, nobody really cares well, about like me do, like people like, do care no bro. no no you think they care if you were gay i wouldn't care because him ask him how i treat him i treat him how i treat you i don't care what you do on your own time like that's none of my yeah, business yeah but at the same time bro like you say you don't care but at the same time if i told you I, if i was gay you are probably gonna say you don't care but mm -hmm. you ain't gonna look at me differently from that point forward. Obviously, I'm probably yes. so. So you do care then. So so it me? matters. No, then. no, no, no. But it I, matters. The reason then. why the reason why I'm gonna care is because I'm gonna be like, damn, this nigga was over here chilling and vibing with me, and like, was he chilling and vibing with exactly. me because he's my friend, or was he chilling and vibing with me because he was attracted to exactly. me? Exactly. You feel so me? I'm gonna think that. That's, that's just. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel you, but like that's, you wouldn't think that. I feel you, like I feel you, but that's the reason why a guy like him will be like, "Oh, I'm not gonna tell him because he's gonna look at me differently for the rest of my you live life." In, you live in a lie. Not everybody will look at you the same. For and the that rest comes of your with life. everything. That comes with everything. Like you see, us we're black. We can't. We're leaving our living our truths right now. We get we get uh, uh, um, treated a certain way because we're black. You feel me? Uh, so again, or you have certain you people, hide. or that's you have certain people hide, that look ca look Caucasian, but they black. You know what I'm saying? And when, when on the application, are you white or black? Oh, I'm white. You feel me? Because they know that certain people going to go ahead and, and react to them or they're going to get uh, uh, treated a certain way. You feel what I'm saying? Now, again, me, I'm like... I know my truth, you feel me? Like, even with me, like, conversations about this I have with him. You feel what I'm saying? I have conversations with him about this. He doesn't like the plain fact that every cartoon show, every um show, they're pushing it on you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like he doesn't like that also. He's like, that's a choice that he made. It is what it is. You know, a lot of people uh, 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 um, uh, 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 um, feel the same way as him. But again, when you say certain things like that, it's like you can't even have a negative opinion like, oh, I don't agree with that. Oh, why do you don't agree with that? Because I don't agree with that. Am I supposed to just agree with everything that you actually do in life? I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to um, do anything towards you. Like, ask him. We have a great relationship. You feel what I'm saying? He asked me for advice, this, that, and the other. Boom, 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 boom. I don't, I don't sway him in any way because me personally, 
I don't care. Again, the rest of the world, they may say that they don't care, but they really, 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 yeah. truly care that, because of that's, religion. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point. Let me, let me, Maybe let me, you won't care. Let me, let, me ask, let me ask you a question, right? So you said like, okay, look, we don't care. Most people don't care. Now, you also said earlier that right race plays a part in everything, right? Mm-hmm. So what if we're, we're talking race, right? And then, and then a white boy says, look, nobody cares that you're black. That's all in your head. You're you're being weak. You're being in, you're being sensitive yourself. I don't care about that. Nobody else cares about that. Just the same way you said nobody cares that you're gay. Nobody cares that you're black. What would you say? Oh no, be, because he's not speaking on facts. He, but I got history to show. You know what I'm saying? Whereas with him, I don't have the history when it comes to the LGBTQ community. What I don't. You, you know about? me. Like again. I do know when people come out, some of them they get killed, you know, this, yeah, and the other, like y'all don't lose their job. Don't don't get in housing. You feel what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know, all, lose that, their family, yeah all, all of that. All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All 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 of that. See, but again, for me, some people are gonna be like, Oh, you was born like that. Some people gonna say that, oh, you 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 that that was a choice. You feel know what I'm saying? Now, if it's a choice, like if I have a choice to be straight or gay, right? I'm gonna choose straight because that's just me personally. But mm-hmm. if you if you choose to be gay, don't you not know about these consequences that may happen? If that's a lifetime, ch- again, you have the choice to, to 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 cheat on your girl or not cheat on the, on your girl. If if you cheat on your girl, what is the consequence? You probably gonna get banned. You are probably not gonna call her your girl no more because she gonna kick your ass out. Again, you choose to be straight or you choose to be gay. You choose to be gay. Then again, you know you got crazy ass people in this world that is gonna go ahead and be hardcore and they gonna hate you and they're gonna try to kill you and this that and the other i'm not one of these individuals marcus is not one of these individuals we truly could care less how you live your life and your lifestyle you feel me everybody's gonna have different morals and different ethics and different this i mean i may like my favorite uh, um, um my favorite food may be chicken his may be pizza i don't care that it's damn pizza for him who cares now again a lot of people do care. It's a really lot of people point. do care. A lot of people, you know, um, even even when it comes to like the transgender uh, uh, um, um, community, you know, some people are gonna be like, oh, um, you know, they're getting killed at a high rate, which I, which I, you know, I don't know the numbers, but you know, I'm pretty sure they're telling the truth. But again, I remember when I went into a meeting, you know, and it was like a LGBTQ seminar, with people asking questions, this, that, and the other, and and I was like, for me, from my knowledge. I thought they got killed because, like, you was a transgender. You didn't tell me I slept with you, and then now you tell me that I'm a transgender. I found out you're a transgender. I mean, I don't know how somebody's going to feel. Like, I would be devastated. Imagine, you, like, that happened to you. Some people going to kill you. Some people could walk away from that situation. So I'm guessing what you're, what you're, what you're, well, I'm guessing what you're saying is uh, you're black every day when you, Cut, when you get out of the door, you black. Everybody knows you're black. Yeah, but yeah, if you're that, if you're gay, you can't hide. If you're gay, you could kind of hide. You could kind of can hide it. It's not even why are you hiding it. Because That's again, why are you hiding it, bro? We just talked about. Hey, I want to keep my family. So, hey, I want to so keep like, my so, job. So it's just hey, like black I like keep me. All of these so things. Like, it, it, I think we so read a, you read wh- this that's, book. That's why I keep it a secret because if I. If I just come out and say that I'm gay, I'm going to be shunned. I'm going to be judged. I'm going to lose my job. People you never, are not going to be, you know, respecting me or chilling with me anymore just because I'm gay. you never seen this. I think when I was in high school, they made me um, read this book or watch a movie called Black Like Me. You feel me? It was a white dude that he wind up, you know, like changing his skin tone with like whatever he changed it with you feel me i ain't gonna say charcoal or whatever like that but but again he changed his skin tone and everything like that and he's seen how people treated him you know what i'm saying so it, it goes the same way with this like again it doesn't matter if you're hiding it because if you're hiding it or and it doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, if you came out whatever they're gonna have people gonna have whatever opinions on you regardless of the fact again some people they may not say it because of their jobs and because of their platform and this that and the other but you got to know reality like fuck that you got to know reality you're gonna have people that don't like you because of the lifestyle that you live because of your religion because of your skin tone because of whatever it is you know what i'm saying the world is never gonna be perfect people hate us just because we're black period 
and people hate gay people because they're gay. Exactly. But again, some people are gonna be like, oh, cause it's they chose to be gay. You feel me? That goes against my religion. But then some people are gonna be like, yo, I was born like this. I don't know. But I don't care because it's not part of my life. You feel me? Like if you do, like I, mean, I understand you don't care, but a lot of people do. Like for example, like uh, I know people who don't talk to other people because they voted Republican or they voted for Trump. And some people will say some people who vote for Trump or who are Republican won't even tell their family that they did that because they don't want to be shunned or they don't want to be like. You know, disrespected, or they say so you, you know can't I mean? come to the family function hold no hold more. Hold on, hold on. You can't come to the barbecue. So you can't you can't be around my kids. Just like how you explain, if if I'm if if I'm a gay person and I got a a, a niece or nephew right that I love and I love spending time with, and then I came out that I'm gay, and now my sister's like, nah, you can't be around my niece or nephew no more. You don't think that's like okay, well. Maybe I shouldn't say this. Maybe I shouldn't come out with this. Because if I keep this inside, then I can still chill with my niece and nephew. Exactly. You feel but, me? But again, so people care. Don't be saying like see, but it's people still a don't choice, care. Though. It's a people choice care. still. It's still a choice. You have the choice to say it or not say it. You that, have the choice to say you, know, you can say it without even saying it. You can say it without even saying it. Just walk out and kiss your boyfriend or kiss your girlfriend. You, you're a female and you kiss your, your girlfriend in public or, or this, that, and the other. Or you bring them to, to one of these family functions. You don't have to say, hi, yeah, I'm over here and I'm a gay. Yes. Like, just live your life and people are going to know one plus one is two. But it's still going to be a story. Oh, um, Oakland Raiders um, linebacker or DN was caught kissing somebody it's the it's still gonna get news it's still gonna get but, traction but that's, that's kind of irrelevant the way that they come out it's the fact that they came out period you know if, if they kiss their boyfriend or they say it publicly that that's really irrelevant so you would say it's a choice that how he, they come out but he made the, but the choice fact that to say he it. made the choice to say it i think it should be commended i commend and it, him and it, you strong. But, but That's you, a strong guy right there. But you said, All those people that don't want to say anything, they don't care. Weak. But you said people don't care, but no. people do care. People bro. do care. Well, people yeah. do care. I mean, people do care, but again, it's on you. It's on living your truth. You see Dwayne Wade, um, um, son came out and this, that, and the other. You got backlash from Boosie and all type of different um, people. Like, Again, people going to criticize you regardless of the fact. They criticize LeBron James when he do good stuff, when he do bad stuff. It doesn't matter. Live your damn yeah, life. Yeah, but nowadays, but you can can you imagine this happening in like the 70s or 80s? I know RuPaul. Look no, at RuPaul. No, no but li, li, like for real, like so if somebody comes out gay in like the 70s or 80s, you think they keeping their job? No. Probably not. It's only because we're on 2021. But why do you have to come out? We're That's only because that's personal. This, this is their. Don't truth. you think your personal is life their... is personal? Yeah, of course. So why do the world need to know you gay if that's your personal life? Who cares? That's your personal life. Because it's 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 a freeing experience for them. It's, it's a... just like I said with with anything. Like if I if if I was a, a Trump supporter or something like that, and if I came out and said that I that I'm a Trump supporter, then people would appreciate them knowing that about me yes because they can make their own judgment if i want if they want to chill with me or not so it, it's it's important for people to tell who they are just like trump since i mentioned him it's great that he is who he is if he was something different and trying to hide who he is you wouldn't respect him as much that's what so i'm saying I give a person more respect when they come out yes with their truth yes and who they really are yes so he needs to come out and say hey no that's no what i'm not I'm, I'm, <laughs> no he needs to come out and say he don't no, need to no i'm not i'm living a lie he don't need I'm to i'm living a lie this whole time how are you living a lie what do you mean how he's living a lie because when he says he's in a relationship with someone, he doesn't mention that he's in a relationship with a guy. No. He's he's telling a lie he's this whole living, time. living, again, those are weak individuals. Those individuals that, that like, a strong guy, strong woman, they're going to go ahead and live their truth and fuck what anybody else say. 
Or if, if my family don't don't like me because I'm gay, then that's what it is. That's a strong person compared to a weak person that's gonna be like, oh, and, I don't know how they're gonna but, uh, 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 um, take this. Or but you like, said you yo. said that's a strong person, but you said nobody cares at the same time that they coming out they gay. But now you're saying that they're a strong person for saying that. Like, so but which again, one is it? Like me, I don't care personally. I, I, again, let me take that back. I don't care personally. Again, a lot of people may care. A lot of people lot may of people not care, care, especially right now with 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 the times right now. You feel me? Like it's kind of getting watered down. You feel me about people being in the closet and this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Like again, me personally, I could care less if you was gay or if you was not gay. Me, I truly don't. I don't know how many friends that I have that but, straight. I'm, I'm, I'm gay. Bye. I don't know. But again, but yeah, I now, don't care. But now, though, Wes, you can't tell me when you was a teenager, right? When you was in high school, if one of your homeboys told you was gay, you would probably want to fuck with react. Him. Exactly, exactly. You're not gonna react the same way that you do now. No, and the reason you, why I'm because saying one, that you're the, older, you're more mature, and yes. and there's more people like Nasib that have coming out and saying that they're gay. So you're realizing, okay, well, this is a larger community than you really thought. No, but back but in the day, I'm not worried about the community. Say, I'm just worried about the individual. Stuff. I can't. I can't even say the stuff that I I probably said about gay people back in the day because it's politically incorrect. Exactly. Now exactly. You now know? again, so people care about this. It's just now <laughs> I it's really, more accepted and people understand mm, that this is a larger community. community I really. Than, I really think than what that we first thought. I really think that the people that are gay care more than the public. Really, I think that they care more than the public. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. Marcus doesn't care. Chris doesn't care. A lot of people that I do know may not care. But again, you got the 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 individuals that that are holding this in. They don't want that care more because they're holding it in. Right. And, you know what and, I'm saying? and it's really not, I think for Nasib, is it's really not for people to know. It's for him. You know? It was for him that he you know, was brave enough to go on Instagram and say this, you know, like, I need to say this for me. You know, it's not because, oh, I want to create changed, a headline though? or anything like that. What changed after that, though? What, he can what come, like I said, instead of him lying about his relationship, How he you, can say, oh, I'm just going to be with my, my boyfriend. But you're you know, choosing. That's, that's him. That, so now you are more choosing now not other, to say it. But yeah, but now other people become more comfortable in saying, you know what? I don't have Fuck to. The other people, I don't man. have to hide. But yeah, these same people that can't come out commit suicide. You know, they take their own life. Why is that? They're not I'm, again. Because they're, they're not comfortable. Because they're not comfortable with coming out and telling people. They're not who they comfortable really with are. living in reality. The reality right. is that motherfucker, it's not kumbaya in this world. Me being black. People gonna hate on me for being black. People gonna hate on me for being Christian or Catholic or Muslim or Jewish or this that, not, and the other. The it is the world. Period. That's people gonna same. people gonna criticize you for being LeBron James for whatever reason. People gonna criticize you for being gay. People, people gonna criticize you criticize you for same, being bro. in a in, 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 in a um 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 not monogamous but uh uh uh. uh you, you know, um, three individuals in one relationship. Polyamorous. People go exactly. People but gonna those go. Those things are not the same. Bro. Uh, everything is still the same. You know why? Because again, everyone is gonna criticize you about whatever. It's just on what type of skin do you have? Do you got tough skin that you could deal with that? The deal with the adversity and all the bullshit. Because if some, if I was gay and somebody talking shit, we fighting or we doing this or we doing that. You just not gonna run your fucking mouth and make me feel like oh, because I'm gay, I'm weak. That doesn't mean, because no, you gay doesn't necessarily no. mean you weak. You could be strong and, and come out just like the same individual that came out. Just like, uh, um, what's his name? Um, The Samuel, the um, Sam. Um, Michael Sam. Michael, Michael Sam, Sam. You know, he came out. He was strong. He did that and the other. What was the, con what was, what, what was the consequence? The consequence was that he was more scrutinized and that's what it is. That's just the but reality I think that we live you, in. You we want to change our realities, this, that, and the other. Again, people can have these talks, this, that, and the other. But again, I just don't like the plain fact that if you feel like you disagree with that lifestyle, then everybody cancel you. you I don't agree with this, that, and the other. I'm going to cancel you. Like, I don't need to agree what the fuck you got going on. Do what the fuck you got going on. You feel like you need to come out, come out. But no, I may not judge you, but there may be somebody else that judge it's you. You know it's coming.
is coming anyway. Even though that uh, uh, people supported him, how many people don't support him? Again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People may say it matters, but again, it really doesn't because no matter how you live your life, there's going to be somebody that criticize what the hell you do. Yeah, now, it's just on if you have tough skin to go ahead and drive through this storm and, and, and have adversity to motherfucking be uh, 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 strong mentally, emotionally, and physically, period. I don't care what they do. Marcus doesn't care. You don't. I but don't. again, regardless, but so many people, people that do. supported, at the same amount of people that supported him, there's the same amount of people that don't support no, him. No, no, that's not true. What why? are you talking why about? Why you say it's not true? Because there's a bunch of gay people now being like, oh, I didn't even know who this was. Well, you just said. And now they're going to support people. him. You just said gay people. Oh, and we're talking not, about the people that's not gay. gay. People, not we're talking about the people that's not gay. No, not just gay, not only gay people, but people like nowadays like uh, teenagers right now i live with a teenager who's super liberal you don't think so now she probably is going to follow this person because this person decided to come out about his truth what you know what i'm saying liberal what are you talking about being 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 gay is 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 technically kind of a liberal thing to do like really? yes like, what are you talking uh, about i don't know explain it to me i don't know like <laughs> like obviously it's not conservative it there's there's a conservative side and there's a liberal side there's a, a, a part that was like that will so be like there's more, no conservative more on day? Dwayne wade's side who is more liberal because he's like okay i'm gonna allow my child to choose his gender and there's a conservative side they're gonna be like no you were born a boy you will be a boy do you get the difference now? I, I really don't think that it has anything to be with liberal or I think just what, it's just what a, you talking about. Like, I, I, that's just my opinion. You said no. what I'm talking about. I really don't feel like it has anything to do yeah, with there's, 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 there's gay conservatives, conservatives that's gay too. Gay so it really I think it just depends no, on no, no. certain like people your overall perspective. Like if you are conservative or religious, that type of person, you're traditional. Then but you it, are it, a certain see, type but of person. Again, religious or don't have nothing to do with liberal there's, or there's, conservative. Again. I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking about politically. This has. Not, this, I, I think you're confusing it with political, uh, like reasons. Like if I'm a liberal person, right? That means then I, I do things the more traditional route. You know how okay. they grew up back in the day. You know, like okay. that's how yeah. that that's what a conservative is. Like a okay. liberal, like I'm gonna go against the grain. I'm gonna be this free this person, spirit. like more of a free spirit. I'm gonna be. I'm going to you know, if I want to date, you know, f five women at the same time, pol uh, like pol pol polyamorous or poly yeah polyamorous. That's a liberal type of way of living. It's not conservative. Conservative would be mother and father in a house. You know, it's okay. it's it's a difference. So man, like we could beat we could beat this um topic like a like a dead horse, but I think I commend him. People people need to really um, you know, come out of, of who of who they really are. And I I think it's it's it, it's paramount for for anybody to live in their own truth and for for years he was living a lie you know i mean he was and, choosing and, to live a lie though whatever if if you're choosing to live a lie and it, and if you are willing to hide it's just, it's almost like hey if i looked white right back in the 70s but I was really black, like I had black in me, oh, I'm going to hide that, right? Yeah. I'm going to hide that because I'm going to get some advantages yeah. and I won't be judged. It's the same thing. Like if I hide me being gay, I'm going to get advantages and I'm going to um, you know, not be judged as much. So people See, care. Those same advantages would have been present if you would have came out a long time ago. That's no, what I'm not just true. live your truth. Not true, bro. Like that. That is not true. Like oh. if, if he would have came out a long time ago, he probably wouldn't have got picked for an NFL team. They put like, nah, you, nah, you, yeah, that's probably your true. high school team. Oh no, nah, you're not making a team. You gay. Yeah, that's. You know, we seen you we walk. Agree. We seen you walking I, I around with, with that boy over there. I nah, agree. you're not gonna get on the team. I agree, but again, you gotta understand. You, is you're choosing to live a lie to have certain advantages. 
We can't live no lie being black. So whatever we get. That's why that's different. That's why you can't compare the two because you can't hide the fact that you're black. But why hide it? It's the same thing. I just told you why. So he can get on the team. So he can get a job. So all these other things. So he can spend time with his niece and nephew. Yeah, but my whole thing is, for me, like, if I knew you was living a lie, I really wouldn't respect you more. Compared to somebody that just came out a long time ago. That's just my opinion. Because I'll be like, you you was fake around me. I'm going to be questioning other things that you probably was lying about. I'm thinking that you keeping it real with me. But you know. they, but a lot of times these people take it to the grave, bro. They they never come out the entire time. And like, say if we, yeah, I, say, I, say me and you, we homeboys, right? And I've been gay this whole time. I'm probably, if just to keep our friendship, going to take that to the grave you know i'm not even gonna come out because i don't want you to judge me i don't want you to look at me but anytime what is more different important, way. your truth or our, re- or, or our friendship i think my truth for a is lot more of important. people it's friendships for a lot of people it's spending time with their mom it's, it's for a lot of people it's spending time with their niece and nephew or for a lot of uh reasons it's is to keep their dream job that they have but which the, which you know is is a, but when you come out what you think they're gonna do they everybody's not gonna support you they're gonna do what they was doing if you came out a long time ago they still gonna have that same um um you know visceral towards you if if that's not what they agree with if i found out you was gay 10 years ago or 20 years or, or, or if 20 you don't years find later out, you don't you just never know right if you don't find out, then we cool this whole time. Nothing ever happens. Nothing ever changes. And nothing changes. But again, that's you your personal. It's none of your business. It's so. none of your business is what I'm saying. So, he I, could, so if it's none of your business, he could keep it alive for as long as he wants. Exactly. He could never say Live your life. You feel me? If, 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 yeah, exactly what I'm saying. Chris just said it perfectly. Yeah, but that's, that, that's not a, a comfortable way to live, though. Like for me to keep a secret this whole time from somebody is not really a comfortable way to live your life. You know, pe- most people just want to be like a no- like a gay person would again, would love to live their life. Yeah, you, you, as you're not going to be able to bring your significant other yeah, to any barbecue. They're a straight, straight any... person. They oh, yeah. can't live that life. Nah, I, they're going to be judged. I agree you know, with what you like say. Us, but when you tell the truth, don't you think judged. that they're going to do the same thing if you came out and said it? If yeah, you came out and said you, it, they're still going to uh, um, not want to have anything to do with you. if you don't say anything, then nothing happens. You're not judged. You're not shunned. So basically, you're, you're, saying, you your you're, you're saying that they're, 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 they're lying because, you know, they want to still be accepted. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And I feel like that's being fake. Of course it is. Of course it is. And that's why this guy... Needs to be commended for not being fake. I commend him. I commend him for coming out, knowing that but it's important. Well, you say this, it's like nobody cares, or like why well, he not, coming out insane. No, I, I, I'm saying it. I'm saying it like I don't care about Marcus' personal life. I don't care about Christian's personal life. You know what I'm saying? Like I really don't care about your personal life. Like but you would care if I was gay. Probably. You would <laughs> exactly. Exactly my point. No, nah, but I'm saying. You would care if I was gay. You would look at me differently. No, nah, but I'm saying. I'm saying. I may. I, I may actually care because. I'll be like you. Again, like I say, that's why I gave my example with my 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 homeboy at work. Like I really don't care about his personal life. I, he, we have a relationship like me, yeah. you, and Marcus. Right. I, and me, you, and Christian. You know what I'm saying? Like, I personally don't care about his personal life. I, I understand because he's not that important to you. He's no, not. He's no, because I'm going to give you an example that we was talking about earlier. You're about to have a son. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Wouldn't you care if he's gay or not? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So if you care because he's important to you, right? Because he's important look to you. Look at Marcus over here making me look crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, because he's important to you. Do, do that work. Do that work. You think I care? I don't care about people I work with and what they do with their life and their sexual though. preference. You talk about your old kids, man. This is what I'm talking about, though. You know I'm talking saying? about your family and people that's important to you might shun you and look at you a different way, including you with your own son. Like, if your son is... is He's not gonna be. Like God forbid. It's not gonna be. But if he was, it, he's going to be very afraid to come out to you. Yeah, cause because he knows, my, my, he my, knows how you how feel. feel he it. knows how you might look at him See, and how you might will, judge him. But my son will so, be strong so enough. So to keep that love that he knows that he has with you, 
He's going to keep it a secret. Nah, but give you an example what 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 my coworker. My coworker, he told his his dad, his dad didn't agree with it. His like they're religious, like like to the T. They go to the church like five days out of the week, maybe six days out of the week. That's how religious they is. You feel me? So I'm like, you know, um, I just felt kind of like I felt good that he was able to even come out to me. You feel me? Because knowing how I actually he know my stance on that. You feel what I'm saying? But again, like I didn't treat it. I think personally is mentally something that's going on with them, not for being gay, but for thinking that people going to care as much as they think they're going to care. Everybody's not going to shun you away. Not everybody. But you feel me? Will. Like Christian just said, he found out one of his cousins was, was, was gay. Like he was like, oh, OK. All right. It was nothing to him. You know what, what the problem is? They don't know how people are going to react. I, and but that's the whole thing. You don't know if I'm gonna accept or not accept it. But that's my that's my choice to accept it or not accept it. And it's your choice to say it or not say it. Yeah. If you're so scared to not say it, then don't say it. I respect those people that actually come out because like they keeping it one k. They telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But again, at the end of the day, nobody like I don't really th- like I, I don't care if you just smashed your dom this morning or you don't care that's, if I just smashed my that's, dom this that's morning. That's totally it's different, like, man. No, because it's personal. It's personal. There's certain things that me and Marcus shared with each other that's personal, but it's personal. You know what I'm saying? The world doesn't fucking need to know. Yeah, but you're not going to judge me if I had sex with my wife. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't need to know. No, nah, but that's why. That's but why. If you found out I had sex with some guy, you will judge me. You understand? It's different. You know, I understand not knowing about somebody's personal life, but there's levels of judgment that people have. Like, just like you, I would not like my son to be gay, mm-hmm. you know, but, you know, at the same time, if he let's just say he's uh, an atheist, you know, that is more acceptable to me to me than being gay for me being gay is like it's 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 on a a higher uh you know level of of shunning or judging or or you know i look at you in a different way than anything else to me see but think about if you're religious right and that goes against your religion and, and 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 you're a strong believer like you're a strong believer in whatever religion you you you're in and that goes against that religion right how can you get mad at the people that shun you away when you're going against their religion we got people that's been religions that's been fighting for years hundreds of years people willing to kill themselves behind religion for you to know that right and you thinking I'm going to go against my religion that I practice hard and I'm a strong believer. Like, what do you think? It's like you're, you're, you're having people go against their own beliefs. That's let, why they I'll keep let, it a let, secret. Let me ask you a question because also, like, if you're a religious person, right, you're a white religious person. Mm-hmm. In the Bible, it actually says something like... The slave owners. Yeah, no, yeah. the slave should listen to his master, right? Yep. Now, if you're religious and you're back in the Confederacy times... Now you're actually saying like, yo, you point. should you should obey your master. Like, what are you what are you doing fighting against us? So it's like, it's it's very hypocritical. Yeah, it, 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 everything it, is very hypocritical. Right? Yeah, exactly. but you gotta understand, dumb dumb books, dumb books was I was not there when God made that book, so I don't know who done edited or do did with this that and the other to to the actual books. Period. You know what I'm saying? I was not there. Marcus wasn't there. It's we the same shit there. on the gay side. If the, if that book says, yo. You shouldn't be gay, and now you 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 know you follow that book, and that book is your guideline. You go, all right, no gay shit for me. But then you also follow that book, and you go, hey, you know what? I should have a slave or some shit. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's kind of hypocritical. Right, I, I, right. I, I feel where you're coming from, but in in, in, in in regards to the to Bible, um, or Quran, or the Torah, or anything like that. Or any other religion that I'm leaving out, you know, because I don't know too many of them because I only really follow my own religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, you know, people going, people, people, pe- some people are more stronger believers. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm a believer, but I, I, I can't tell you I read the whole Bible. I don't know every last verse or every Psalms or every this, that, and the other. There's a lot of things that I don't know. The Bible's sitting right there. Do I pick it up and open it every damn day? No, I don't. 
So and and if I do read it, I don't even know how to probably decipher what they're actually saying sometimes or this that and other. It's confusing. It'd be going forward and backwards. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. a it's yeah. not like a a, a a story that's straight right. through. It, it so it's different, you know. So people gonna go ahead and pick and choose certain things, you know. You got the Ten Commandments. You got all type of different things, you know. But again, at, at the end of the day, like I feel like people should just keep it real from jump because like why i understand why lie because you're trying to keep what marcus was saying the family the relationships you know you don't want to be shunned by your family and this that, and the other but if you if you tell me now or tell me later at the end of the day those people still gonna probably have that same reaction to be honest with you you might as well just go ahead and live your truth from jump yeah you know to, what I'm saying? i mean to to be honest when my cousin came out at first like I was like, oh, I, I, I didn't want to f with him at all. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like and me, and my cousins that were my age, we were like, and we we're all the same age. We was like, what, nah, what, what age believe, he came out? Uh, he was in his twenties, like probably late twenties or something what, like what that. What age were you when you found around out? Around the same, around so the same. So you were young. Yeah. So. So you see your different mindset now, but I have a different mindset yeah. now, and the world has a different mindset now. So that's why. People keep it a secret and gradually pe more people like him are going to feel more comfortable because it's more accepted now to come out with it. Because before people would not mess with you at all, try to beat you up or, you know, just, you know, you, you're just going to be shunned all altogether. So, yeah. So it's important for this to become more commonplace. I'm going to be happy when this is not news anymore. Yeah. So I think you're at a place where. This is not news anymore. If you're gay, you're gay. And I get that part. But, like, there's still a lot of people who feel like, oh, I've lived with this since I was, let's just say, 13 when I hit puberty and I realized I liked men. And I've been holding this all this time. He's in the he's in the NFL. I think he's probably in his rookie contract, maybe. So he's probably 24 nah, or something. Signed, uh, uh, a new contract. Million. Yeah, I think So he million. can't be more than 24, 25. So he's lived with oh me holding inside that I was gay this whole time because see, I didn't know if I was going to make the team see, or I didn't know uh, if people were going to respect me. And I don't want people like you like how you just said, "Oh, I don't know if this guy's going to look at me in the shower." You know, I don't want people. You would think, think like that. Of course, I would. It would cross my mind. Yes, yeah, it would cross but, my mind. <laughs> but like, but yeah, as but for him, he don't want to be like, oh, every time I go in the shower, everybody got to get out the shower. You know what I'm saying? He he didn't. I'd rather keep that a secret and we just be in there just like we boys, you know, and just chill. It's gonna be kind of hard. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, like <laughs> especially when you talk about masculinity, like people, right? It's gonna be hard for. But again, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of players that that's gonna be like that that will judge him from now on, or gonna be like, nah, I'm not messing with him no see, more. See, but or, look, or I don't want him around my child. See, but look, Warren you know, Moon just like you said, said the same thing. Warren Moon said he played with players that the team knew that they were gay. But why do you have to make this spectacle about, uh, oh, I'm gay? They knew you were gay. You're like, you don't think I know certain people when they're gay? I got gaydar over here. Some, I know some when some certain people, people are yeah, gay. Some people, some people are a little bit more feminine than others. Some people, you just like, hold Love, yeah, some like, people yo, you don't know, but it, there's some people you don't know. The thing there's is, some, you, there's you, some gangsters you, you, out there. You don't that know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, don't, yeah, that's you true. don't really know until they actually be like, until they confirm it for you. You know what I mean? Because, like you said, there's certain feminine dudes. You're like, I, I, I think he's he true. most likely gay. He don't even know it yet. But you know what I mean? It's I like, ain't gonna say nothing. But <laughs> I, I'll just be like, uh, but again, at the end of the day, those individuals like. Me, I just, I guess I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, because you got, you have things. a strong personality. Like and you're me, outspoken. You yeah, just I'm, like, outspo Yo, I'm gay. You know, like, I don't give a, yeah, I don't give a, like, I don't give a, like, come on, man, yeah, like, not, just not live a, your, so again, if, just if, live if your, your truth, dad, man. If your dad was would said to you, like, if you come out gay, I ain't speaking to you no more. My dad wouldn't tell me that. I, no, this is obviously <laughs> a hypothetical my situation. Bad. What the hell? My, <laughs> my dad wouldn't tell me that. Like, obviously. All right, all right, all right, yeah. But, uh, like, if he told you that, like, he'd say if he told you that when you was 14, 15. See, right. But why would he told dad, you that, right? See, but why you, would you telling me you wouldn't hesitate on coming out if nah, you were but, gay? See, but why would your dad tell you that? Because he already knew it. 
That no, conversation man. doesn't happen. Like, no, oh, man. if you're if you're gay, don't like it, the way you 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 said it. Like, it's said. Trust me, it's said. Especially no. in religious families, they say like, hey, if you if you are gay, we will not talk to you. That's Same happened. Thing like that people. happened in my family with my cousin. Like, they do not talk to him. So if you love your dad and love your mom, and they say that to you, you wouldn't hesitate on on not coming out and saying who you really are. Well, my personality, I would have been like, fuck him. I mean, I understand that, but That's you can understand real. how a person would keep that a secret. Yeah, I understand that. But again, my whole thing is my truth is more important than your feelings. That's how I feel. Yeah. You know, like, again, you know, I came in this world by myself. I'm going to leave by myself, you know, so I'm going to live my life. To my, you know, to make me happy. I'm not living to make other people happy unless it's my kids and and, and, and my family. You know, again, you know, I got friends and, and and certain things like that. So I'm gonna move a certain way with Marcus and Christian. I'm gonna keep it 1K. They know with me. I'm gonna keep it real. You feel I me? Mean? Like they may not. Like again, we, me and Marcus on certain uh, 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 um, topics like when it comes to politics, we don't agree. But he's here. We still been continuously on continuing. He's still been supporting me when it comes to me having a kid and everything this that and the other because he knows me genuinely. You feel I me? Mean? Even though we may not agree on this topic, but I know him as a person. You know, this is not a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? So again, when it comes to uh, 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 um, people that 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 want to wind up being that, I, I feel you. I feel I, I do. Uh, I I don't agree with him coming out, but I I I feel like he's strong for coming out because you know they're gonna be backlash. And, and and you know, I think there's more straight individuals than. Than, than gay individuals in the oh, world. Yeah, you feel I me? Mean? So again, I really percentage. feel like I really feel like they're promoting uh, uh, um, all of the people supporting him, and none of the people that's you know like shunning him or giving him the backlash or this, that, and the other. And I feel like that's a that's a disservice to um him um also because you're making these young individuals think that when you come out, everybody's going to accept you. Everybody's not going to accept you. Period. You gotta understand that everybody's not on this on this wave because of the uh, uh, um the new movement now with people coming out. So you gotta know the good and you gotta know the bad. Mark is telling you on uh, um, some of the good and the bad. I'm telling you some more of the bad than the good because you're gonna have these people, but live your life. Now again, for me, I think you know someone that 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 tells you the truth sooner than later, people will accept it more. Than if you was living a lie, cause I'm gonna be like, damn, Marcus, like I know you for 20 years, and damn, you've been lying all this time. What else you been lying about? Compared, to if you would have told me 20 years ago, you know, we w again, if we were cool after you told me that, cool. If not, then that's cool too. But again, I wouldn't have, I shouldn't have been your, I wouldn't have be your, fr I shouldn't even be your friend if, if, if I'm not gonna be a hundred with you. You feel me? Like if I'm not gonna accept. Not Marcus. Somebody else. John Doe for, you know, I don't want to speak nothing into existence, but that's not happening because, you know, you know how it is over here at the Mark West Sports Podcast. We're both married. We're, you know, again. But, again, it is what it is. Live your truth, you know, but I really personally, me personally, this is personally me, I feel like you come out sooner than later, you're going to find out the real. I'd rather, I, I, I rather uh, um, come out sooner and, and have those people that accept me in my circle than be fake, you know, and have to live a lie just to keep these people around me. Like, nah, if, if you don't like my lifestyle, then kick rocks. Let's, uh, let's jump into the Benjamin Report. I know, Marcus, you going uh, at 5 o'clock. We are entering what the Benjamin is? Report. Uh, going to the Paradise Camp, which is basically the uh, camp where all the former players come and train with the best high school football players across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the fifth edition of this. This was actually started by Coach Richt. Uh, he decided to do this, and, you know, um, I really think Co – shout out to Coach Rick because he really turned this program around to where yep. it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. um, it was going down with, with, with Golden, you know. I just kind of want to forget that era altogether. Um, but, yeah, he kind of started this, um, and there's going to be a lot of former players out there. I've already seen that some of the recent players are, are going to be there as well, like Jalen Phillips, 
um, you know, K.J. Osborne, but also old, older players like Lamar Thomas, Michael Irvin will all be there as well. So it's, it's really an opportunity for these kids to really see what the University of Miami culture is all about. Okay. So a lot of the top name players uh, will be there in, in attendance, um, as, as, uh, especially the uh, players that are already committed. There's only four players currently committed okay. to the Hurricanes. Uh, you've got Kamari Rogers, a four-star cornerback, and you have Ja'Cory Brown, who is going to the Elite 11 uh, quarterback competition, which is the, the best high school football competition, you know, all the best quarterbacks from Tom Brady to Kyler Murray have been at this Elite 11 uh, competition. So so he's going to be there, Ja'Cory Brown. Um, and you got Quan Lee, who also committed this week. I looked at his tape. It's pretty decent. He's a three-star receiver, and as well as uh, Ibita, who is also a three-star receiver. Okay. Now, the, the other players that we – that I think will likely commit to Miami or Jacoby Spells and Wesley Besaint. But there's some other players that I think will possibly commit maybe this weekend or sooner. Dante Anderson, who is a defensive uh, lineman out of Homestead. So I think he possibly could maybe commit uh, this week. Um, it, it's been a lot of visits for all these high school football players. Uh, there's a lot of players that I think the Miami won't be in contention in at all okay. for – like a like a Nigel Lee Kelly and uh, Earl Little Jr., which is unfortunate unfortunate because he's a legacy kid, you know. But um, there's always a player that ends up committing right after par- Paradise Camp, so look out for that. That that's likely going to happen, or they offer them then and there because they see what they do during this camp, and they ended up uh, committing. Um, so especially you know being trained by famous players it has a high influence so yeah i'll be there tonight and um really seeing who who shines uh santana fleming and some of these younger kids will be out there okay um likely to be out there uh we'll we'll see uh who is actually out there but i'll be posting videos and um on my twitter uh account uh, at underscore benjamin report You'll see all the the latest videos and hopefully some interviews as well. Usually they they prevent the media from interviewing the kids during these camps. But, you know, I may be be able to sneak off and get an interview in the parking lot or something like that. Mm -hmm, (laughs) mm -hmm. So um, I I get all all the inside info as to where these kids are are really thinking or in how much influence this Paradise Camp really had on them um, committing to the University of Miami. Now, I do want to say that this is kind of a different strategy that the University of Miami has, has taken in the past. Usually they'll have commits, have kids commit really early and they end up decommitting during the season because maybe the team loses games or whatever or another team is jumping in. So for the fact that they're jumping in late, I feel like it's kind of a blessing for them. And it's been really because of COVID, because COVID didn't allow any visits until this month. Mm-hmm. So the fact they only got four right now and you still got a whole football season to go. I mean, I, I feel like they're positioned in the right way where they can have a really strong class again uh, for this uh, cycle. Um, so uh, Daughtry Richardson, offensive lineman, I think is a player. Look out for him possibly committing uh, because he, you know, when these kids have a profile picture of them in a University of Miami uniform, then likely they're, they're the team that they are favoring. And mm-hmm. he likely he, he took his official visit yesterday. I'm expecting him to be at Paradise Camp today. again today. So that's pretty much it as far as, like, what to look out for as far as players. Uh, Jacoby Spells, Wesley Besaint possibly could be maybe committing early. We'll see. Spells just released his top three. It was Miami, Indiana, and West Virginia as his top three. So you know where he's going. So, yeah. So so we'll we'll see what happens. It uh, should be a lot of high level talent. It's not just from South Florida or Florida too. It's pretty much from across the country that uh, players are coming to this uh, camp. It's um it's a camp that's been trying to that's been 
tr- um, tried to be imitated by other schools, like other schools. Michigan State. Yeah, like try to bring their alumni in now, just like how we did. You know, it's just like everything else with with Miami and the Hurricanes. They try to imitate the stuff that we do, and Trinsets. a lot of the times when it, when Miami offers a kid, that's when a lot of other teams jump jump on board and start to offer this kid as well. So that's probably why they waiting late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that's another reason. Uh, it's a good strategy for for Manny Diaz. We'll see if it all pans out at, at the end of the recruiting cycle uh, in February to really kind of see how many kids legitimately you know commit to the University of Miami. But I, li- I like what he's doing, man. I like what Manny Diaz and his staff is doing. He's definitely getting the players that are fitting that offensive system. But the offense hasn't been the issue for the Cavs for a couple of years. It's really been the defense, which is sad. Uh, so Manny Diaz <laughs> takes over the defense this season. We'll see what he can do. But um, I, I think they're positioned well. And I'm just going to you know, say that they'll have at least two commits by the end of the weekend. Perfect. Yeah. So we're leaving yeah. the Benjamin Report. And that's going to conclude this episode on the Mark West Sports Podcast. Until next time. Peace. Peace.